when we last left off, it's been a while, you guys were in the Feywild completing some tasks for a Fey Lord named uh, Draxel. You had fought some hags. You had uh, saved some nymphs and satyrs from a, a tree that was forcing them to eat. You fought some terror birds. And you had made your way through an Eldrin village. You were on your way to uh, a Dracatar, which is somewhat a friend of Draxel to get the final item required for him to get his powers back. And that's where we left off. So, well, there was a total of four items, I thought. There is. You guys got the hourglass. You got... Hold on, let me move some stuff. You got the hourglass. You got the, the, the tome. Well, no, you're going to get the tome. Mm -hmm. And you got the mask. And I believe you got the scythe? We haven't got the scythe yet. Okay. I one think of this... them, last last time, one of them, you, you had deleted some information off of one of them, oh, so yeah. you only had... But, yeah, we got the hourglass, which he has, and we have the mask, which I currently have, because I, I read his mind. You lost the hourglass, apparently. Oh, yeah. That's right. They beat, they, they beat his ass to the hourglass. And, that, and, the, and the scythe is the last item. Well, it's, it's the second to last item, and it's located with the Fey Lord who beat him up. Gotcha. Okay. So you guys, you went through the Eldrin, a little bit of the Eldrin village, um, where Draxel told you not to fraternize with them. And you guys are still making your way through the, the Fey Wild Forest. Um, make a, I need everybody to make survival checks. Survival? Survival. survival. Yeah, that's true. I got a three. <laughs> I just died. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, more survival. And that's a six. A six? Okay. And Miney? Hold on. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So, uh... Do you need, um, me to make one for Long and the Terror Bird, too, or just us? Uh, just you guys. Okay. But, uh, Ran and Vaughn, you guys are a little... We're just running lost. around in circles in the woods. <laughs> you keep... like that one movie, yeah. and scary movie. You keep the losing chick. your place in where you're going, but Igneal is leading the group and able to navigate through the confusing forest. Eventually, you guys exit a forest into what appears to be a clearing and ahead of you uh, stretching out inside the clearing is what looks like an old fort. Okay. Alright. Uh, Draxel, who has taken the appearance of a house cat, kind of sits down and he turns to you and says, this is uh, the home of the Dracatar. He's got uh, the tome. And since we're friends... He should give it willingly. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Random knowledge, that's right. Alright, um... Then... Why are you a cat right now? If you guys are friends... Would you be okay just being yourself? I don't feel comfortable in your... Hiding from somebody that you say you know. He goes. I'm not. I'm not hiding, but I will. Okay. He, he does inside revert back to in. his. Hum okay, make an inside check. But he does. You watch as he grows into his humanoid form with a cat head. Okay. I'm fine with that. Then. That is uh, 23. 23. Uh, he's being honest. He isn't hiding. He looks like he might just be more comfortable in cat form than he is in humanoid form. Okay. All right. All right, then uh, lead lead the way, sir. He, he steps forward. He steps, steps forward into the field back. and leads you to the entrance of the old fort. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's more of a ruin than a fort. You can barely tell what it used to be. Mm. Some of the towers have collapsed. 
the walls are still standing but pocked with uh, battle scars. And there's a large set of double wooden doors, partially ajar, not big enough for you can squeeze through, but big enough that you could possibly, you know, talk to whoever's on the other side. But a Drax will just kind of walks up confidently and bangs his fist on the door. After wait, wait, in cat form? No, or he's in, no, in he's human form. form. He's in human form. Okay, okay. little pause to the door. <laughs> he, he wants in, uh, but um. <laughs> He bangs on the door, and after maybe about 20 seconds of silence, the doors kind of open a little more, and what looks like a, a head pokes out, but it's it looks like a dragon's head, but much smaller. A deep and a deep turquoise blue. He kind of looks around and he sees Draxel, and his eyes go wide, and the doors he throws the doors open. And you now see he's maybe standing eight feet tall. Mm-hmm. His upper half is that of a humanoid form with a dragon head, but his lower half looks like a snake's body, but with arms and legs, maybe uh, six total, three on each side. God damn it. Three on each side. And he kind of lumbers out, and he picks up Draxel and gives him a big old bear hug. And Draxel does not resist. But um, they he kind of looks Draxel over and kind of looks to you three, four, and the terror bird, so five. He looks you over and says, well, what do I owe such a visit? We want what you're look, what we're looking for. Draxel kind of chimes up and he says, uh, we're here for the, the Tome of Knowledge that you possess. You see the Dracatar kind of scratch his chin. And he, um, he says, I, I have the Tome. But he kind of looks at Draxel a little more. And he says, but I'm not going to give it away that easily. What, what do you want? He goes, well, I have a bit of a pest problem in my home. And he kind of points to the fort. And um, he says, I have a bit of a snail problem that I need taken care of. What kind of snails? Oh, they're just ordinary snails. They just are infesting my home. I, I need them gone. I look for the nearest snail and I step on it. Make a perception. What kind, of, what kind of snails are they? He goes, just ordinary snails. Uh, I don't believe you. This is the Feywild. <laughs> Five. Um. Five. Is he telling the, is he telling the truth, Logan? Make an inside check. And with a five, uh, Miney, you look around, you don't really see any snails. It's kind of a, it's actually, you don't see much life anywhere near the fort. Do I see anything that looks like a snail? Uh, not with a five. Couldn't even give me that, huh? Uh, well, that's not good. That's nine. Nine? He's being honest. Oh, great. Oh, okay, I believe him, I guess. Um, with that in mind, let's see, what can I do? You said there are ordinary snails, right? Yes. Can you describe what they look like? He kind of looks and he says, well, they're tiny, they have shells, and they leave a slime trail. He goes, they, um, they're, he goes, here, just, just come inside, I'll show you. And he, he opens the door more and... You can see inside the fort, it's dimly lit. It's dimly lit. There's a couple torches, but not much, and not they're not much help in this darkness. But he leads you inside. Um, you do notice in the in the grand entrance, there are a couple skeletal bodies, kind of leaned up against the wall. Some are on the floor, adorned in still some armor. 
broken weapons and, sh and the like. But uh, he leads you deeper into the fort, closing the door behind you. Um, okay. Um, uh, whenever we get closer to the, uh, thing with the snails, and you said he needed the snail problem done, how many snails are there? He goes, well, I haven't counted, but maybe five or six. Alright, um, when we get closer, I'd like to, to where he, where he just, like, stops his other thing, I'm gonna cast locate creatures. Okay. On the snails that he has described in such fun. Okay, he leads you through the fort. Uh, you notice that some of the sky, some of the sunlight still pe um, peeks in through some of the cracks in the walls. In some rooms, there is no roof; it's completely open. But he leads you to this large iron door, and he says, uh, "They're through here." He's, and then you're going to cast locate creature. Yeah, 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 if there actually are actual normal snails, it should light them up. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen a normal snail. Okay, you cast a spell. You're looking for normal snails. Uh, you yeah, don't that... pick up any on in the vicinity. All right, so what kind of snails are these? I ask him. He goes, well, they're Feywild snails, but... You can just squash them. Just step on them and they'll die. He goes, it's just difficult. You owe me a fourth level spell, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know why that hit me so fucking hard. I just imagine, like, Manny's character is, like, sitting there, like, with the straightest fucking face. You owe me a fucking fourth level spell, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. He says... They're not hard to deal with. They're they're very squishy. You can just step on Did them. Did we ever them. have a long rest before or no? No. No. I don't think so. No, we, we that's fought why the terror birds. That's why I'm mad. Like this way. That's why I'm fucking <laughs> agitated. We should be able to get one sooner. If this guy's not causing us any trouble, then we should be good to take a long rest soon. Okay. So he opens the door and he says, just take care of the snails and then I'll give you the tome. Um, quickly enough, I turn to the other guys. Don't stop, don't squash them. Pretty sure that they're going to cause us to see crazy shit. They're not at normal snails, so... Okay. So, the room <laughs> is dark. There's a little bit of sunlight trailing in from an opening in the roof. But other than that, the room seems empty. It's a small room, too. Maybe only 20 feet by 10 feet. But he opens the door and he ushers you in. Is it dark? It's not dark. It's dim lit, dimly lit. Um, I cast light on my shield. Okay. You cast light and the darkness or the dim light kind of illuminates into this bright, vibrant, just effervescent light that fills the room. Um, and you notice, sitting in the center of the room, maybe only... A couple centimeters long is this tiny little snail just sitting there. I, I cast firebolt at it. it. Firebolt? <laughs> okay. You cast firebolt. It impacts the snail and nothing happens. The snail just sits there. Like it doesn't die? I step on it. <laughs> it does not die. Okay. Uh, Miney, give me... As you approach the snail to step oh, on it, just died. give me a dexterity saving throw. Wait. Uh. I'm seven. No, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So, as you approach the snail, you see its little antenna kind of go up and they focus on you, and then. Almost seemingly out of nowhere, there's just a gout and a turn of flame that just shoots out from the snail that engulfs you. Um, you take five points of fire damage. <clears throat> um. Okay, interesting. 
And then I need everybody to roll initiative. I don't think fire works on them. I think I know what's going on here. These are sp these are snails. Hey Logan, I pull out some salt. Your force. That was not even a D20. What the fuck's my problem? I hit this game. I got a 19, and um, Long and my terror bird both got 14. <laughs> oh man. Sorry guys. Is there only the got... one? As far as you that's can a... see. That's a five. Five for Vaughn. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Miney. A five. Oh, you got a five too. Okay. So, you watch as the flames kind of engulf Igneal. They don't do that much damage. They do some damage, only five. But um, the room around you is now illuminated. Well, it's already illuminated, so I guess the fire wouldn't do much. But um, uh, up first uh, uh, is Ran. Ran, you watch uh, as the fire just kind of dissipates, and the snail just kind of sits there quietly. All right, so real quick before I make my, my move, I was slightly distracted trying to stop the whole texting thing in the group chat. Yes. Why are we fighting these snails? Uh, the the Drakatar, the one who has the book, says if you can get mm -hmm. rid of the snails, he'll give you the book for free. No problem. Got you. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we're going to... How many, how many snails are in this room? You only see one currently. But if you want, you can make a perception check. Okay, I'll make a perception check. I got a ledge bond. I find it really funny. But what? Even, after, even after we told him not to use his chat, he used yeah, it I, again. They still use the <laughs> chat, even though we discussed. He's a moron. Yeah. But so Charles, yeah, Charles was gone, so I'm going to assume maybe he just didn't get all the loaded messages from but before. But we told him last time, dude. I did. I, I, right. I completely agree. So I was like, I don't want to piss off the chick since we pretty much, you know, calmed that whole shit down. And Charles. Yeah. Um, if anything, he just doesn't he might, read. He doesn't read, and he might already be fucking drinking. So if that's the fucking case then I don't fucking know. I even um, sent him a text directly telling him that that's <laughs> Brian's old number and that whenever you text the group chat, that group chat, you're texting some random chick. Yeah. And he's right. just an idiot. She happens to be cool, but I'm not trying to piss her off. Um, yeah. all right. Wisdom? Sorry. I got a... Perception. Oh, sorry, perception. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I put the wrong with him. All right. I got a 13. 13? You, you, yeah, you do a quick scan of the room. That's a natural one. So, not being stealthy, you see on the roof, there are five more snails. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at, um, at Igneal. Igneal, do, do snails classify as bugs? Uh, snails are bugs. Because if so, I don't fucking like bugs. Uh, um, Maybe. <laughs> snails are bugs. I don't like it. All right, so then... If you don't the like roof. bugs, no, they don't count as bugs. Okay, they don't count as bugs? <laughs> no, I, should, I, I shouldn't kill them. No, I'm playing. Um, oh, uh, we should definitely kill them. And we didn't take a long rest. I have a so slight feeling still don't have that, that fire isn't useful against them. Okay. And I will... I don't want to waste anything too strong until we figure out what exactly works on them then. How far would you say the ones on the roof are from me, and how close are they? The roof is only maybe 13 feet high, and they're only maybe 7 feet away. From each other? From from you. Okay, they're, and they're how, all how close kind are they? Of, they're all kind of clustered in a circle, mm -hmm. and it looks like they're, they're directly above the other snail, but they're just clustered together. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Acid Splash. Okay. Uh, hurl a ball, bubble a acid. Choose one creature within range. Choose two creatures within range. Um, that are oh, actually, yeah, that are within five feet of each other. So I'll just shoot for two of them that are close by up on the roof. Okay. Um, Is on it the an ceiling. attack roll or a dexterity saving throw? Uh, a target must succeed a dexterity saving throw or take one d6 acid damage. Okay, they both fail. All right. Um. And we're level eight. All right, so I get two d six actually, because I'm past level five. Ow. 
All right, I got seven. Seven acid damage on both of them. Okay. Did me trying to step on it do anything to them at all, by the way? Uh, you Before you could step on it, combat began. Well, actually, okay. it breathes fire on you, and if and, it, and then you roll an The fucking you. snail breathes fire? The snail breathes fire. Son of a bitch. If you oh, like to, mighty, you can make an attack roll with your foot. <laughs> yeah, that'd Die, be you nice. son of a bitch. Uh, what would that be, dexterity or strength? Uh, strength, it, I think. I think it's strength. Would it be an unarmed attack? It'd be like, an unarmed attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take off your shoe okay. and do it, money. Um, would I be proficient in it at least? <laughs> <laughs> um, Money's pretty good at stepping on things. I guess you'd be proficient. It's you're just trying to step on it. Nine. Nine. That that beats its AC. So, nice. <laughs> what do I roll? Just a D4? D4, yeah. By the way, or no, it's... This man got a good side of it. What does it look like, exactly? It looks like a normal sail. Yeah, it looks, like, it's also nothing, a Feywild sail. Nothing irregular about it? As far as you nothing. can tell... What'd you say, Logan? Uh, for, I think, unarmed, it's just your strength modifier plus one. Wow. Only, I think only monks... So I don't even roll? No. It's just your strength modifier. Okay. Well, it's a one. A one? Well, they only have one HP. So. That's for cool. real? <laughs> At least I wasted a fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. I guess it's Do just they my. Do really only have one? Just resistant to fucking fire, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> so, you go up and you squish it, and it just. Yes! Goes, it just goes. It makes a, goes a satisfying splat noise. But I did take five damage, right? You did really? take five damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is now the snail's turn. So did, did I kill two on the roof? Or you they killed two on the roof, dead? yes. There's okay, only so they left. are dead too. All right. <laughs> uh, I need all of you to make dexterity saving throws as all the snails at once kind of open their tiny little mouths. Oh, and gosh. Just turn to flame. Just in How many are there? That sounds terrifying. Left. How many? Five? Three left. There's three left, and they're on the ceiling. <laughs> uh, I got and that 15. one. That one, okay, so a 15 succeeds, that one fails. 15 uh, plus... Let me see what... You said duck, so it was 16. 16, okay. So... Uh, this... Oh, shit. Poor thing. I'll roll for... Okay, that's not bad. I got I got a 16 for, uh, for long, which is good because he has a dex of minus 2. <laughs> and, the... oh, God... The, the terror bird got, got a uh, net one. That's how I do it. <laughs> okay, so those of you who failed take 25 points of fire damage. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That's, that's from all of them, not not okay. individually. Thank God. Oh, okay, okay, Jesus. Okay, so. So take half, half of that? Yeah, the people who succeeded take half, so half of 25 is like. Uh, I, I guess the, I, I, the higher number would be 13. Alright, so All right. Did, I, did I succeed that with a 16? Yeah, you succeeded. Okay. Alright, sweet. Uh, and Logan, a real quick question. I don't think we ever came up with it. So whenever I zombify a creature um, with my little animated dead where it keeps it, so, you know, it's it's uh, not none of its legendary stuff, but pretty much it's whatever powers it has, yeah. am I going to go ahead and um, turn its health to that of a zombie, or is it going to get to keep its, its, its natural health? Um, amount. Uh, I don't think we ever decided on we that. We ever decided on that. So for it's really now, your call. For now, let's do zombie health because I think it'd be pretty over, it'd be pretty powerful if they just kept their health. That works. Okay. So twenty five if you failed to save, thirteen if you succeeded. All right. All right. Wait, Logan. By the way, wait. Did you get? Did you skip me? No. They 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 went right after. Yeah, me and money were supposed to go at the same time. Yeah, but you, I thought you rolled five. five. Yeah, then you roll five too. Yeah, no, the snails rolled an eighteen. Yeah, but but Miney, Miney got his turn because he he yeah. initiated everything by trying to step on it. Miney was a back. Miney was a back. Yeah, I was just do. I stepped on it earlier. That's all how that was. Yeah. So Logan right, let me do the so damage because around? I did step oh, on it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was lost on that. Okay. <laughs> so that's the end of the snails' turn. It is now long in the terror birds' turn. Okay. Um, long. 
is gonna. You said it's, it's about seven feet up. Seven feet up. So can Long walk up under one of them and try to just like poke at it with his? I guess try to crush it with his, his sword. <laughs> go, go ahead and make an attack roll. All right. That fell. And that got a seventeen. Seventeen will hit. So all right. Since they only have one HP, no matter what you roll. So yeah, Long just kind of walks up, confused, and just kind of takes the butt of his his sword and just crushes one of them. It just makes a noise. It kind of just splats on the ceiling. He looks he looks very disturbed. He pulls down the sword and sees the gross snail guts on his foot. Okay, it is now the terror bird's turn. Um, I don't know how how high a terror bird can jump, but can it can it, can it jump up and I assume a terror bird. Well, terror birds are pretty fucking tall, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty tall. Um, it, it probably could reach with its neck. Okay. Okay. All right. So then, yeah, let the little, I'll just have the terror bird do the same thing. Just reach up there and just kind of peck at one. Make an attack roll. I don't want it to. Uh, I don't really want it to eat. Uh, that got a eleven. That'll hit. Yeah. All yeah. right. It just pecks that one and kind of eats okay. it. Okay. Um, that's the end of the terror bird's turn. Vaughn and Igniel, uh, you guys are up at the same time, so you can decide who goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cast um, mass healing word. Okay. And what I'm gonna say is, everybody, let's get this done. Let's get this done. And now, let's see, where's the D4? I hit the at the bit. There you go. All right, so everybody heals back thirteen health. Is that fifteen? Don't appreciate it. Um, thirteen, but yeah. Oh, that works. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, good Igniel, because you're you, up. My zombies were almost dead. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, as a last thing, um. Because that was just my bonus action. Oh, it was your bonus action, so keep going. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. That's fine. Um. All right, can I can I go up to one of the snails if they're close and just pluck the shell off of it? Torture. Uh, the only one that still has a shell. The other, all the other ones were squished and melted by acid. The only one that has a shell is up on the ceiling. Am I able to reach it? Being at nine feet tall. Oh yeah, you'd be able to reach it easily. All right, can I pluck its shell off? Make. Are you trying to do damage to it, or are you just trying to take the shell? I'm trying to pull its shell off. Go ahead and make a strength check for me. Uh, strength check. There's a straight strength, right? Straight strength. All right. That is uh, 14. 14. Easily enough, you grab the shell and you just pop. The snail is now devoid of a shell. Okay, so that should reduce his AC. Okay, um, I walk away from the I walk away from the area and um, go ahead. Okay, uh, that's the end of your, your turn. Igniel, you're up. One sec. <sighs> For the love of everything holy, please kill it before he kills my zombies. Alright, I'm going to do something. Uh... second all right add to my bag of holding of hoarding stuff Let's see. nail shell sorry I'm looking at my can trips I've barely used them this campaign so That's fine. I gotta look at the range how far up but are they above me or it's is only... it the one it's only like 10 feet above you. It's a small ceiling. Wow. Um. Mm 
I cast... Poison spray. Okay. At the is it thing. a dexterity saving throw? It is a constitution saving throw. That's a fail on the snail's part. So Do you want me to roll damage? Yes, roll damage. You go no. It, you don't need to roll damage. It only has one health point. Yes, roll damage, nice buddy. Do it. Or if you roll zero, you could, you could overkill it. You basically just hold up your hand and squirt a little bit of uh, poison at it. The snail just kind of. It doesn't really make a noise, but it just kind of shrivels up and falls off the ceiling dead. Take that snail. <laughs> Is that all the snails? That's all of them. Yep, that's it. So, <laughs> from behind... Other the corpses. <laughs> make, make an investigation check. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, eleven. Eleven. Despite your your searching, you do not find any loot on the snail corpses. Do I find anything of value in this room? With an eleven, <laughs> the room is kind of devoid. It looks like it may be a storage closet. Um, but you do notice uh, in the back there is a skeletal body with some pretty beat up leather armor. Can can I detect magic, Logan, Go in ahead. the area? Uh, that's what I'm doing then. Magic. Uh, you don't pick up anything in the room, but you do pick up. Oh, Javon left. Oh, what shit. a bitch! Really back. Someone probably needs to invite him. I'm inviting him. Okay. Um, can you pick up all your companions' gear. And you get some magical essence from Draxel and the Dracatar. But other um, what you kind of magic? Gear. What kind of magic type? Um, for Draxel, you're just picking up the items that he has, like, uh... No, like, oh, the type yes. of magic. What? Um, for Draxel... I forgot the name of the magic. My bad. On left again. Uh, for Draxel, you're picking up enchantment, and for the Dracatar, right. you're picking up. There we go. What is it? Abjuration. <laughs> oh, that makes sense now. But uh, you see the Dracatar kind of clap and says, "Ah, thank you for taking care of that." And he goes, he kind of reaches into a little satchel he has on his waist. And he pulls out this really? small leather-bound tome, and he goes, "As promised, here's the book." I grab the book, and I like the like. I I'd like to wait. What is, is it the thing? The book do again? Uh, uh, random knowledge. Random knowledge. It'll be airy. Here, I'll read it. I'll read it verbatim. Uh, once a day around noon, noon, the book will display random knowledge of the local area. Alright. Um, I like the book. Is it noon? <laughs> <laughs> the book, uh, as you open the book, it is full of. What languages do you speak? Me? Uh, uh, anybody who's trying sure. to read it. Let me check my. Um, uh, check common, my abyssal, draconic, common Abyssal, Draconic, and Infernal. Sylvan. Uh, if you speak Sylvan, you can understand it. Common, Elvish, Giant, it. and Celestial. Okay. So, Ignea, you can make out that it is written in Sylvan. As many tries to read it, I just skim over it. Okay. While he's um, to read it. And it. Just as you're skimming it, it basically gives you a little brief history of the fort you're in. It used to be in the Material Plane, but... Um, uh, pretty angry Faelord got pissed at the inhabitants of the fort and with some substantial magic dragged it from the material plane into the Feywild and then proceeded to kill all the inhabitants. Does it say that Faelord was? Um, it does not. Okay. 
<clears throat> second mass heal order plus the level, their level. But I'm adding oh, this. Oh yes. I lied. Okay, so actually, you're right, Javon. It was fifteen. Uh, fifteen uh -huh. health out. You got fifteen health back. You're right. Uh, it's all good. I mean, I only lost the, uh, the thirteen, so I appreciate. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, I miscounted on that because the because my special uh, ability as a life cleric for each level for a healing spell, um, oh, I can add an additional amount to everybody's healing, like when I'm healing. Right, sorry about that. But um, oh, as you guys kind of exit the small room, the Dracatar says, "Well, while you're all here, how about I treat you to some delicious lunch, and you can rest your bones after." being toasted by the the snails. Tree at lunch? Sounds good. Hell yeah, boy. Can we, can, is this going to be our, our long rest? It can be a long rest if you'd like. Hell yeah. But uh, Draxel says... Man, the fourth level spell. <laughs> Draxel says that's yep. two of the Better. items down. Now the other two are a different story. As as you guys sit around a table as the Dracatar goes into a small kitchen and starts making food, he sits down... <laughs> And you see his face kind of changes. He's had this kind of chipper attitude, kind of a happy-go-lucky attitude, but as he sits down, you can see his face kind of sink in and he becomes much more somber. And he says, The scythe and, unfortunately, the hourglass are located in the court of the Fey King, Renfro. He goes, The hourglass was stolen from me recently, as you had already procured it from the hags, but... Unfortunately, in my arrogance, I was ambushed and the hourglass was stolen again. In order for me to get back to my full potential, You're I You're not very good at holding on to things. We should have held on to them for you. Because that's why I entrusted the mask to you, and I will entrust the tome to you as well. But... Renfro is fairly powerful. If it comes down to a fight, though, he is arrogant. And he will not ask for help. He may fight... I'm not saying it'll be an easy fight, but it will be... It'll just be you and him. And I'm Unless, just pointing out that we have... Since we have to get the hourglass again, we're upping our price. He goes... Wow. You see him kind of laugh, and he says, I don't hold that against you. He wants to teach you how to fight after this is all said and done? You might need help trying to fight. He pulls out a short sword, and he says, I know how to fight. I just oh. am not at max power. My powers were stripped of me when my items were taken. What well, some people who don't know how to fight, say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. On guard. Long rest, long rest guard. This bitch. Because you almost killed my zombies, and I'm not about that life. <laughs> on, on guard. So, wow. the Dracotar brings out this pretty, it smells delicious. It doesn't look that good, but it smells quite good. And as you eat it, um, it's not a hero's feast, <laughs> but it is pretty good. But um, you guys take what's your long it, rest. What does it look like, Logan? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's, it's just some broth. It's some plain brown broth with some bits of meat and vegetables. So it's All like right. chicken and waffles. Damn but um, he shows you to a small alcove in which you can sleep in. Uh, he then retires to his own chambers and you guys rest for the evening. Alright. Okay. As you guys kind of awaken the next morning, yeah. Draxel's kind of sitting there impatiently tapping his foot. Uh, the Dracatar is making breakfast. And, um, Draxel says, says it's not too far from Renfro's, well, to be more specific, his domain is this entire area of the Feywild, and if he knows we're coming to him, we'll find our way there pretty quickly. Does he know we're coming to him? He, he might. He is arrogant, like I said. He might just open the door um, and let you right in. Right. I got an idea. Um, you want me to just disguise myself as one of those elves that you said that was one of their lovers? Or friends, or something like that? 
He goes, you could try disguising yourself, but he, he may be arrogant, but he is clever. He may see through it. And he, he may get a laugh may. out of it, but I, I doubt it will elicit anger. Okay. Um, if you guys are okay with that. What are you trying to do? Uh, change my appearance into one of the elves that we saw earlier. Sure. Alright, um... I use my... Are we, go for, uh, are, are we going for, uh, not Draxel, uh, Renfo now? Uh, he goes, well, he has the last two items, so... Oh, he, he does have the last two, okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna use my one per, uh, longer slash short rest, um, disguise self. Okay. And you're gonna look like an Eldrin? Yeah, I'm gonna look like an Eldrin. And because I'm my fur girl, my fur bowl got a feature, I can reduce my height by three feet. Okay. In this guy's so, self. So I'll look um, six feet tall instead. Okay. As you guys exit the fort, uh, the Drakatar waves goodbye and shuts the doors behind you. But um, Draxel kind of says, well, now we just wait for an invitation. If Renfro, if you want to find him, he'll make it known. But, well, it's complicated. But um, he says, let's just start walking and I'll explain as it happens. All right. Okay. So you guys re-enter the forest. Um, after maybe 20 minutes of walking, you notice that the forest kind of changes. The bird calls kind of get louder, and the forest itself seems more alive. Uh, and as you're walking, uh, off the path kind of hops out a fox, and it kind of blocks your path and just kind of sits there and stares at you all. What does the fox say? The fox. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, negative know. inspiration for mining. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Any time when Ed Logan's choosing, you automatically is it is it because he even <laughs> referenced the critical role, Logan? No, he referenced the. I say I ask Draxel, uh, Draxel, a friend of yours. Draxel, you can see his face kind of. He looks a little, not scared, but anxious, and he says, "It's one of Renfro's servants. He's going to guide us, and he does air quotes to Renfro's um, domain." You see the fox oh, it's so it cute! Like I just rub its chin. <laughs> it lets you, it lets you do this. It doesn't fight back. But um, the fox then kind of turns and slowly starts moving down the path, I which follow. you now notice. Before you were walking just through the forest, but now there's an actual path. Okay. So you guys follow the fox. For 10 minutes, 20 minutes, about the 30 minute mark, you start to hear music kind of faintly in the distance and laughing. The fox continues on its path and you see Draxel kind of, he's messing with his hands, he's hes looking very anxious. Yeah, what's up? But, um, Get out of here, cat. You guys follow him for a while. I'm just reading something. Okay. So, you follow him for a while until eventually the fox kind of runs ahead into a small clearing. Um, and everybody make perception checks. Okay. <sighs> I got a 14. Okay. You said perception check? Perception. Nine. Nine, okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, you all see this and hear this, but you see a head in the clearing. You see these floating globules of light. You hear happiness. You hear people <laughs> laughing, people talking. Some people shouting, but not in a, not in a, um, aggressive way. More like happy, almost like happy shouting, if that makes sense. Uh, okay. But um, as you guys get closer and closer... The forest gives way to the clearing, and you see ahead of you, in the clearing, 
are a lot of tables, long wooden tables with stools and ch uh, chairs set up. Um, there are these globules of light. They're not, they aren't hanging off of anything, but they are just kind of floating there. And they're illuminating the field. Um, in the center of the field, you see what looks like a congregation of people kind of surrounding uh, what looks like a small, almost like a throne. And you do see at the tables there are people sitting and drinking and having fun. There are a few dancers in the field. Uh, nobody's singing, and you can't really tell where the music's coming from, but there is music just kind of filling the air. As you enter the field, you see some of the people who are eating kind of look in your direction and wave in a very friendly manner. I wave back casually. Okay. But, um... Draxel kind of shrinks back and he turns into his cat form and he hops up on your shoulder, Igneal, and he says, um, he says, Renfro will see through this disguise, but hopefully he thinks I'm weaker than I am. Wait, me or you? To Igneal. Oh, okay. You, you can hear it. He's not whispering it. Yeah, but, okay, okay. But, um, can you, you fight guys... if it comes down to it? He kind of, he kind of looks at you and says, "To be honest, I wouldn't stand a chance." He goes, "That's why I brought you to the Feywild. I'm relying on you three, four. You can you grant me? Five. You, can you grant me some Fey power? When this is all said and done, I might be able to. But as of right now, I like Fey power. As of right now, I can't. Shake my hand. Shake it. What is he bullshitting us on shake that? Shake my, shake my hand. I mean, I, I could always read his thoughts, but. I feel like he has no choice but to agree to it. Or we can, I won't say we can walk away. I don't think we can get out of the Feywild, but we're literally I mean, I can, his last hope. We can find can, a way out. I, we, we, I we can, can bash, find a way. I can bash us all if I wanted to. Touche. But I, I, I think he'll keep he'll keep close to his uh his terms. Okay. As as you guys enter the center of the ring, you pass by the tables. Logan, can I quickly just check if he's bullshitting us? Oh yeah, on make that? an insight check. I'm sorry. Let's see. Hey. It's uh, 19. 19? I got 79. 79. Um, you get the idea he's not bullshitting you. He's being right. truthful. He he cannot... He probably couldn't fight because he's not anywhere near his strength. But he also, once he's back to full power, if, if you felt like it, he could probably... Send you home, give you some fey wild powers, stuff like that. So are we are we here to kill this guy, or are we just kind of we get him enough that Draxel can take Dax over? Draxel, can, can we can we can we kill him? Can we kill? I'm asking you. Oh me? Like, are, are we here to kill? Like, can we kill a fey a fey king technically? Um, he's not. Uh, he... Or is it kind of like one of those things where it's like you you defeat him and he can't? I guess he's like gone for a while. But they he rip his heart out and start eating it. Make... Make a history check to see what you know about fake kings. All right, let's see if I have anything in history. I don't. Fuck you, Logan, you piece of shit. <laughs> I got a, a 13. Yeah, I get shit, bro. Okay. Um, you, you didn't study much on the Feywild, but you do know that Draxel is probably not a fake king. More mm -hmm. lower on the pedestal, more like a fey lord. Gotcha. So he can be killed. It's not easy. What about Renfro? Because be Ren is Ren Renfro also oh, I'm a fey sorry, lord? I meant Renfro, not Drax. Okay, he is also a fey lord too. Okay. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, but fey kings are probably a whole other fucking. Yes. Ball you get game. the That's idea. Okay. Draxel calls Renfro a fey king more out because... of respect and fear than he calls gotcha. him a lord. Okay, okay. Just making sure. All right. You get the idea know. that if you if you get the idea that if you called Renfro a Fey Lord, he might take offense to it. Okay. Well, I'm but not here to be a nigga's friend, so. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. All right, well, guys, um, if I remember correctly, everything Logan just said. <laughs> we... <laughs> you you relay this information to your fellows. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So. I guess definitely be prepared. So I mean, 
we could always try and see if communication or a deal can be worked out, or we can just go in there and fuck them up. Okay. Yeah. If you As think you... we can get we can get through with it, with just um talking to them, sure. As you approach the the small throne, you do see sitting on the throne is a humanoid figure, dressed in fine clothes, with a hat over his head pulled down so you can't see his face. And he looks to be almost napping. Okay. As you see the crowd around you, the crowd around him kind of turn and look at you, and then they kind of slowly part, so there's an opening for you to get to the throne. Now, the crowd is made up of satyrs, nymphs, eldrin, and, and regular elves. All humanoids. But, um, as you approach the throne, the figure kind of almost stirs awake. And you see him lift his hat, and instead of having a human head, he has a fox head. But he's not an orange fox, he's more of a, a black fox. Okay. What does the you, fox say? And as you approach, he kind of throws his arms up and says, Ah, my welcome, <sighs> my um, surprise guests are here. And you, you hear the crowd kind of clap, lightly, not loudly, but golf clapping. And he goes, and I see you brought that traitor Draxel to me. So what, what do you do? do really? What do you um, mean by traitor? You're welcome. <laughs> he goes, well, you see, Draxel used to be in the position I'm in. And he kind of points to the throne and he kind of like raises his arms and gestures to the crowd. He goes, but he grew... What's the word I'm looking for? And he kind of like scratches his chin. And you see Draxel, or you, you hear Draxel kind of, not hiss, but kind of pull back and make a small squeaking noise. He goes, ah, Draxel didn't have as much vision as I do for the Feywild. He, he was contempt What's in keeping your things. What's your vision? Sorry. He was Talking contempt in keeping by. things the way they were. But me, I think the Feywild should be expanding, should be growing. Uh, I mean, if you, if you want some character. more, if you want some more land. This I, is I Russia, see plenty of trees, it? plenty of trees over there. Ooh, he goes, no, no, should. no, you you mistake me. See, I like bringing things to the Feywild. Mm, you're one of those kind of guy. He goes, I like adding new things to my collection. And you see, he kind of holds, he kind of raises his hand, and kind of almost materializing out of thin air is the scythe, is a scythe-like weapon that he kind of holds up. And then the other hand, he kind of holds out, and you can see the um, hourglass kind of form there. And he goes, just more things to my collection. And then they disappear, and then with his hand still raised, you see in one of his hands a humanoid skull appear, and in the other, what looks kind of like a dragon skull. He goes, but those are just the tiny things in my collection. You see him snap his fingers, and the trees around you kind of, almost, they, the world almost starts to spin. And then all of a sudden, instead of being in an open field, you're inside a grand uh, hallway, or a grand um, foyer for a castle. And he goes, I procured all this right. maybe two centuries ago. Okay. He goes, but besides that, Draxel, I'm so impressed. He goes, please show me more. Are you asking him to show you more? Yes. He kind of snaps his fingers again. The world kind of spins once more. And instead of being in the field, you're now on a beach with um, a red ocean before you. And he kind of says, these are just some things added to my um, collection. He goes, but... I see you brought the traitor Draxel to me. And he goes, very kind of you. I accept it as a gift for entering my realm without my permission. And he kind of uh, outstretches his hand. And you watch as Draxel kind of gets lifted up and just slowly floats towards him. Can, can I, I react and grab? Make a grab? Yeah, can, you, can I react and make a grab as well? Can I assist him on that? You can, yes, you can both reach out and grab Draxel. So make... Um, make... Dexterity, maybe? Yeah, make dexterity, dexterity. checks. He gets uh, advantage because I'm um, assisting him. Yeah, you get advantage because Manny's helping you. 
Oh, I got the highest thing I can get. I got a 22, heading at 20. Okay. Yeah. So you see Draxel lift off, and very quickly you grab his back leg and you yank him forward. You see Renfro kind of, like, he gets, he almost gets pushed back by this. He kind of gives you, he gives you a curious look and says, did you not bring Draxel here for me? I came here to talk it, talk yeah, this, to you, also, pol this um, is, to polish you. This is the problem with uh, assumptions. So I think first we should, you should hear what we have to say before you jump to these conclusions. He kind of scratches his chin and leans back in his little throne, and he says, I'm listening. <clears throat> All right, so we're here to get back to the things that don't belong to you. So if we can come up with some kind of a deal in that process, we'd rather that than for things to get nasty around here. It's not a threat. <laughs> As you say that, you see him kind of smirk. And he goes, well, I take trade for my collection. If something interests me enough. And you see him snap his fingers again. And surrounding him all of a sudden are these skeletons with uh, half-decaying flesh. They don't move, but they're dressed in armor and they look like adventurers. He goes, he goes since you're in my realm... Since you've been in my room, I've been keeping an eye on you, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. Now, if you'd be... You've never seen so many fireballs? <laughs> God damn it. I swear to God, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> you kind of interrupt him, and he just kind of shoots you a look. <laughs> and he says, um, I'm always looking for new adventurers to add to my collection. And he snaps I guess then that might be more impressive. He snaps his fingers and the skeletons disappear. He goes, I'd be willing to part with these items and give them back to Draxel if you four would be willing to become part of my collection. Was that actually? He goes, well, I'd kill you, embalm you, hmm. and then add you to my statues. That's a um, hmm. but no, thank you. That's an interesting I, proposal. We're, we're we're gonna do a group huddle over here real quick. <laughs> yeah, let us let us talk about second. it, please. For talk a about this amongst ourselves. He's and as we're talking, I want to I want to keep looking back to make sure he's like not like trying to get in close or lean forward. All right, so um, we're gonna whisper with, as quiet as we can, but he probably hears every single thing we're saying right now. <laughs> this is the worst deal. So I'm gonna no, just no, keep on saying penis. Oh, oh, it sounds pretty enticing. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like coming from a guy who who usually brings people back from the dead, being dead myself is not like fun. Uh, what do you have to say, <laughs> Lord Draxel? Draxel kind of looks and says, "You can't really reason with Renfro. He's kind of, and you can't make the hand movement." But he goes, "He's a little crazy. He's mm. unhinged." Gotcha. Uh, is he like crazy in a good way, or is he crazy because he got some mental disorder? It depends on the day. Some days he's beneficial. Some days he's very not beneficial. But he goes, "It is a bad deal he's offering because you would die." Yeah. Okay. But at least it, he kind of he kind of looks sounds like and a says, good deal to you. He goes, "Yes, it'd be a very good deal for me. I'd regain my powers." But. I would probably he would probably just take the items from me once again once he grew bored. Can I just look around and see if there's anything like of interest? Make a perception check. Well, uh, like well, magical mining... items or anything. Can I detect magic at yeah, 30 feet? Well, my um, feet while this is happening. <laughs> 15. 15. Um, with a 15, you peek your head up from your little group huddle. The crowd has kind of gone back to oh. talking. To themselves and um the tables are the people are still eating you don't see any magical items per se except for the ones that renfro showed you mm -hmm. but um what all did he show us he showed you the size he showed us the, the, size, the size the hourglass with only magical thing he showed us uh, the two skulls too he's pretty much like a mix of predator meets um are the, the skulls collector. magical uh no i think they're just you didn't get a good enough look. They were, he brought them out and oh. put them away. I assume the trophies. And Vaughn, you said your cast. He already put the site away too. Yeah. Yes. Um, if it, 
if it's the right time. I, actually, I'm going to probably hold off on that until I think it's the right time. Okay. It's not, it's not the right time yet. Um, go ahead. Can I, can I go ahead and, and speak to him and say, um, now, no, no matter how enticing that trade sounds, uh, rather have something that doesn't involve us dying. So, we found this giant green glowing skull in the forest. Seems magical. What about that? We'll try to do that for one of the items. He kind of scratches his chin. Make a persuasion check. Uh, I think I'm good on persuasion. Um, I'm good before on, I'm good you on do that, before you make your persuasion, before you make it, uh, I'm going to use enhance ability, and I will enhance your ability for persuading. So What's you have do? advantage. Oh, advantage boss. I don't know. All right, so I got a oh shit. Ooh, no. Okay, I got a seventeen. 17? I got plus four. Yeah. Kind of looks. You hold the skull up. It's it's pretty big. And he kind of looks at you and says, "You've caught my interest. Which item would you be willing to trade for?" I thought I'd definitely rather decide with you guys. So you have we have a the hourglass that can go back six seconds. I think. It, can, it lets you see into the future six seconds. See, and then the the scythe, every attack, well, every attack, it allows you to regain health. Yeah, you attack. it gives you three charges. I feel like, um, and does the, the hourglass have, like, unlimited charges, or is that, like, a time thing, or? Um, I believe, let me look, I have it written down. No problem, if we're gonna, if, we're, if we do end up having to fight him, I All feel right. like getting rid of the thing that helps him regain health. <laughs> We uh, Javon, just so you know, if we're, if we're going through checks for um, any char charisma checks at all, mm -hmm. like persuasions and, de and deceptions and such and not, mm -hmm. um, you'll have advantage for the next hour while we're doing this. It's a great concentration. Appreciate it. Um, the hourglass is once a day. The hourglass is once a day? Yeah, you basically... You right. get Does the scythe require attunement? Yes. Okay. Fuck. How long? How long has he had this? Like, can, can we? Should should I? Mm, can it, will it be safe to say that he's probably attuned to the scythe since he's had it for for a while? Um. No, no. He does not have it on him, so you gotcha. could assume it's not attuned to him. Okay. Does the uh, skull we have do anything special? You haven't tested it. That's true. Last last we, we would... used it, 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 it took my hag. And turned into a flower. Yes, it did. When we went to attack it. But then I'm also thinking, like, even if we make these trades and give back um, uh, Draxel stuff, there won't really be anything stopping him from. I mean, I, 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 I'm assuming that Draxel I, was at full power and got his ass whooped to begin with, so we I'm, might have to I'm thinking, fuck up Renfro to meet anyway. And I. Uh, I go ahead and put my finger to the ear and I'm like thinking, okay. Um, I pull out of my bag um, this bluish crystal okay. that seems to glow with a light like as if, if it's charged and everything. And I uh, hand it over to Javon. It's the, uh, it's the gate key. See if he wants this. Um, can I take a second to look at that skull lug that we have? Uh, yes, yeah, so make an arcana check. Okay. And then you're handing him the gate key, the fixed one? He handed it to me. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's charged and everything. Cool, I mean, there's nothing, I guess, stopping, even once we take this stuff down, I, apparently he's pretty fucking powerful. But Eleven? Mate. Eleven, okay. I mean, like, this, this dude likes to have things that are in his collection, right? Yeah, And this but... gate key will summon things from another dimension into his world. Yeah, yeah which is realm. good. For him, but might be bad for whatever whoever he, he decides to summon. Um, yeah. Maybe but... if if we can at least get the stuff from him and, and make Draxel give Draxel power, maybe at least if we do decide to fight him, Draxel can have our back compared to us just kind of going in against a fucking Fey Lord. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So as you pull the gate key out, you do see his eyes kind of light up, and he kind of pulls himself from his throne, and he very quickly approaches you very quickly and he kind of just gets in your face and he 
he wants to reach out and grab the orb, but you see him kind of hold back. Yeah. And he goes, now, where did you get this? I'm going to need you to back up just a little bit, sir. He kind of, uh, he bows and little bit, backwards. A little bit, Thank you. This um, is my no-no a little square. bit of fascination, a lot of hard work and effort, those kind of things. Anything about that skull, though, Logan, Oh, the skull. The uh, you got an 11, you said? Yeah. The skull is magical, but you get the idea that it's kind of inert now. It it did its job when the hag touched it, and now it's just kind of reverted back to a somewhat semi-magical skull. Sad face. So before we continue, I just want to verify: Are we just going to give him the stuff, give get stuff to Drax uh, to uh, to Drax and leave, or do you guys want to still try to fight him and and stop him from possibly just trying to just <laughs> collect well. everything? Other well, we can do we can do both pretty much. Yeah, we, we can do. Both. I, th I think, but part of me feels like getting Draxler's stuff is good. The other part of me is like, at the same time, we might need to get fucking rid of Renfro. <laughs> we, yeah, I feel like in the end we're gonna fight this guy. Okay, so, so, yep. I, I don't want to make assumptions and jumps and shit. So as long as we're on the same fucking page. So this skull is okay. a piece of shit. So you can trade that and then trade the fucking whatever it's called. The gate key. Key. And then we stab his forehead. So with the gate key, real quick, Manny, does it just bring things to you, or does it teleport you as well? Because I don't want him escaping. <laughs> okay, so basically, this is how the gate key worked when um when we first saw it. Is uh, you have to they have to channel on it and and okay, over so time he, it's gonna he, it takes time for it to be able to summon something. Okay, so it's kind of like a tomb. It's a, he he couldn't just it's like, pop off with it. The it's like an isekai. Um, I'm gonna summon you from to another world kind of freaking thing. That's what okay. the geek he is. But you can't use it like instantly, so we should be good. Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, I'm fine with that. From what I've like watched, like when we were like in that battle, that's. When did we get uh, the gate key? Yeah. With the gate, the gate key came really early on when you guys were fighting the cult of the leech. Yeah. Mm, you, okay. You found the gate key in the basement, and it was open, and it was basically just a portal to the abyss, or not the abyss. To the leech's domain, and it was allowing for oh leech God. hounds, leech brutes, and stuff like that to come through. Ready to eat. So, um, the gate key, you do know it is connected to the leech's realm. You don't know if mm -hmm. it's still connected because it was destroyed and reconstituted. So, it could connect It could connect anywhere at this point. But, yeah, but Renfro doesn't know that, so we should be good. No, <laughs> Yeah, all right. Exactly. Oh, I mean, if you, if you guys are good. And I don't, this, this I don't trade. technically know that fully. I just know I fixed yeah. the key. <laughs> and that's all that I know. Trade. Um, real quick, before we, definitely before we hand this over to him. Oh, um, Charlene. Hey, Charles. I thought I had message. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Manny, say something. Say something else, please. <laughs> hey, Charles, go ahead and, um... You need to stop. You need to stop creeping on girls, my dude. That's what Charles, I gotta tell you. Creeping on. We're in the middle of a D and D game, and Logan's recording. Uh. Okay, dude. Yeah. Um. Don't worry. Um. Once we're done with the session, and everything. Yeah. Once, we, once we'll, we're done with this session, we'll go ahead and hop in. Yo, Manny. I'll be home tomorrow. Do you want to go to Kobe's? Like this coming uh... week. I w I wish you like made this like uh, like wait, this coming week like what day. Okay, I le I literally got to be back like the twenty seventh. So, where do you got to be back? Just at? name it uh, here in Norfolk. Okay, okay. Um, I'll You're talk staying to you about that. forever, uh, though, uh, right? No. Nope. I'll, I'll talk to you what? after um, after our session is over. Okay. Okay, bud. I'm drinking wine. Party? No, we're ew. not leaving the party. You stay right here. Godly. Um. Don't you tell me you. I love on you. Wine is gross. Wine is fucking dry. It tastes like an orange. Ah, just fucking drink like Bud Light um, orange. We'll be uh, back in the party after after a bit. We're almost, we're like kind of we'll still finishing big. our session for D and D. Okay, okay, we'll Zilla. Just... We have we have unfinished business, Zilla. Well, well, how long are you staying? You get to stay for a long time, right? I am going to be online for the next, uh, uh, till the 27th, till the 27th, 27th I'm not, 
December? I'm staying awake the entire time. The 27th of this month. What? Why? Where are you I'm going staying... after that? Uh, I have to go back to work. For some reason, I couldn't join your party, so I just made a new one. Okay, hello? Yeah, it's all good. It's, it's still showing uh, Reese and Charles in, in my party, but I don't hear them, so we should be fine. Okay. <laughs> so, after that little interruption, um, Renfro, he's maybe five feet away now, kind of just, you, you can see in his eyes, his eyes have lit up. He's got a huge smile on his fox-like face, and he's just staring at the gate key. And he goes, if you're, if you're willing to part with that, I'd be willing to give Draxel back, and he kind of does air quotes, his power. All not, why'd, you, why'd, why'd, why'd you air quote that? <laughs> now I feel like you're not going to give back his power. <laughs> you made yourself look suspicious there. He just kind of shrugs. Right, well, we'll do an even trade, one at a time. I'll give you the green skull for one of the items, and then after we make that trade, I can give you the... Um, the other. He kind of does a light bound. He says that is acceptable. And you see he materializes the scythe and the hourglass in thin air. And they kind of just float around him. He I detect magic now. Detect magic now? Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to last uh, ten minutes. Okay. Also, I, I, I don't want to hand this directly to you. So we'll go ahead and we'll give me two of your little fox people. And we'll have, we'll have them do the trade. No disrespect, okay, so... but... After so, the air quotes, I can't trust you. <laughs> so, wait. So they, um, they so they look like magic. So they do they actually uh, emanate the magic specified for it or what? Yes. They do okay, emanate the magic Adam. specified for them. The scythe okay. is um, evocation. And the hourglass is, I forgot what it's called again. Is it dunamancy? Not dunamancy. It's um, divination. Okay, divination. Gotcha. All right, they're good. So, uh, yeah, I'd rather hand I'd rather hand these items off to one of your people than directly to you. I hope you understand, but he kind of just being... shrugs and says, "As long as I get what I want," and he okay. kind of like claps his hands. And two, two of the crowd kind of break off and they they grab the items and they kind of hold them. They walk towards you and they hold them out to you. Okay, um, I, we still have our message ring uh, earrings in. So I'm going to go yep. ahead and message to Miney and uh, Manny and say, do you guys want to begin the fight as soon as we have, have the, the turnover, or what do you guys want to do? Let's see what what the, uh, let's yeah, see what Drax maybe, will do. Maybe, yeah. Want to, want to see what, what, what Drax will have to say? What he does first. All right. Then I will go ahead and I'll, I'll hand off the green skull first and take one of the items back. Okay. So you switch out the scythe with the skull, the... The... Think I should kind of just play it by ear. Sorry. Yeah, I, yeah. I toss it. I toss it to um, the Draxel. Okay, he kind of takes it and he, he squints at it and he looks at it closely. He turns it over in his hand. He says this is acceptable and he tosses it in the air and it vanishes. He licks it. Draxel or R Renfro? Uh, okay. I toss. Yeah. Oh, okay. I toss the side over to uh, to Renfro. Oh, I thought you meant the skull. Wait, to... no. Sorry. Okay, yeah, no, I, 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 once I do the trade, I give the scythe straight to, to Draxel. Okay, Draxel turns into his humanoid form, and he takes the scythe, and you see his form kind of swell up a bit, and then it, almost as if he's breathing, he kind of lets it out, and he holds the scythe. And he goes, uh, no. now, the gate key, please, or Renfro. And then, 
as I get ready to hand over the um the gate key to the um the fox, I'm gonna go ahead and give Draxel his mask. And also actually hmm. I forgot we had the mask. There's a chance he could double cross us from the get go, so we just be prepared for a fight to begin with. I say that all in, in the in the earring. Yeah. Um, keep, I'll go ahead and keep, toss keep the, holding the mask for the time being first. I'll toss the um Draxel the tome. Okay. That way he at least he's he's starting to get his fucking power back. He snatches it out of the air and again his form kinda swells and then almost exhales. Alright, as I give the um the gate key to the fox and I take the hourglass, I wanna put on the mask and read the first layer of uh Renfro's mind. Maybe see see if he's if what, what exactly what he's fucking thinking right now. Okay. As you do this you lock eyes with Renfro, and you scan the, just the base layer of his thoughts. Mm -hmm. And all you can really detect is that he is incredibly excited for the gate key. <laughs> boner, 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 he boner, is... boner, 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 <laughs> he, There is nothing else on his mind but getting his hands on that gate key. All right. Uh, and I'm going to be that guy that ruins if I just dispel magic on it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 in character, you, you can ask him in, in in your mind. Like at this point, I am holding the hourglass, and the fox has the gate key. I'm handing the fox. I'm handing the gate key to the fox. Okay. So I mean, it's, it, we, we can have a, a quick group discussion and see, and see how you want to play this out. Mind, you want to see how this goes, or fuck this. I want to see game. how this goes. All right. Okay, I want to see how this goes too. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and hand it back, and as soon as I um. Give the gate key to the fox. I'll I'll toss the the mask and the uh, hourglass back to Draxel. Okay, you hand over the the gate key and it hands you the hourglass. You then toss both to Draxel, who again he takes them and you see this time his form swells even larger. He maybe grows to almost ten feet tall, and then he okay. kind of exhales back down to his normal like five foot eleven size. Okay, how you feeling? He kind of like lets out a sign. He says, "Much better." And you see, Ren swole. the fox, the little fox helper, hands the gate key to Renfro, who takes it and then just ushers him out of the way. He returns to his throne and he just he just sits there holding it, staring at it. So, are we? Are we Is good he now? Chanting anything? He kind of just says, "Yes, you you can leave. I don't care anymore," and he just kind of. Uh, shoes you away. Draxel, uh, talk to Draxel and ask him how he's feeling, what, what he wants to do. Is he okay with this trade? Are you okay with this trade off? You want more. I want more. He goes, I'm just happy to be back to normal. And he says, We should leave, though. If Renfro has a change of heart, which he is known to have, he could turn on us. So, what you're telling me is. I just want to be, like, as quiet as possible asking him. Um, you've seen our abilities. Do you think you could, we could take them on? Would there be any point in taking them on? Now that you have power, would well. it benefit anyone? He goes, I'm yeah. not back at full power, so I wouldn't be much help. But looking at you four, I honestly don't know if you could take him brother. or not. The, um, would, would it benefit anybody if we took him yeah. down? Should Should we try to take him down? or Is he a bad guy? We, yeah, or should we leave things as they are and let you deal with it later on? He's... You see the undead turbers like, what about me? Shut up, you. Tell you, Iro. He kind of looks and he says, he goes, the Feywild is chaotic. Renfro fits in pretty well. I don't hold a grudge because I would have done the same to him. But mm. as of right now, he just kind of fits into the, the tapestry that is the Feywild. Okay. He goes, but yeah. we should yeah. leave just in case. And he kind of like turns and walks back to the forest edge. I don't know. I kind of want to take him down, but it's up to you guys. I kind of, I, I kind of want to take him down. I like stuff, well, so honestly, I feel like I if we no kill problem. him, we might get stuff. I have my backup character already still roaming around, so I'm I, okay. I can go. I for still it. have like four more. I mean, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't had a, like a, a fight fight in a while. I know. So, I mean, I guess 
we, we've, we've had this conversation with Draxel. <laughs> so in our in our uh, our earrings, we're like, so you guys want to f- say fuck it? Well, we are here. <laughs> fuck it, I guess. If you guys are. I guess so. Might as well. I want I, I want to take a look at, at Draxel and say. And that's when my sorry. alignment turns to chaotic good. And Got then it. I want to yeah I want to say sorry Draxel, but uh. It's not really the way we do things. And I want to cast Phantasmal Killer. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is a surprise <laughs> round because he is completely... Can I cast... <laughs> Am I able to do anything to him? To me? Or to Renfro? No. To Draxel. Like, uh, not Draxel. To fucking Renfro. what's his Ren- fight Renfro? is Renfro. Yeah. Yeah. What would you try to do? Uh, I mean, it would either be a cast a spell on him or cast a haste on myself. Um, uh, it's a surprise. So, I mean, we, we have the... Yeah, it's a surprise. I'm going to say it's a surprise I, round because he is I cast so on both of these guys. Back. I, tap, I tap both of their backs real quickly, and I cast Death Ward on both of them. I go ahead and just cast Haste on myself. Okay. So you're casting Phantasmal Killer? Yeah. What does that do exactly? Or I'll just look in the book. So you, you tap into the deepest spheres of a target within range and make an illusionary manifestation of it, visible only to that creature. The target must make a wisdom saving throw or become frightened for the duration. Each turn while the effect is in place, the target must make a wisdom saving throw or take uh, 4d10 damage. On a successful save, the spell ends. So I, I want to go ahead and cast it. And as he's looking, well, I guess, uh, yeah. Okay, so if I, if it passes, I want it to I want it to the the gate, uh, the gate key to go ahead and transform into whatever his fucking fear is. Okay, so it's what kind of save is it? A uh, wisdom. Okay, well, he rolled a four. I'm gonna say he I'm gonna say he didn't pass that one. Look, just gonna but put that out there. Hmm? He's gonna use one of his legendary resistances you and automatically you. succeed the save. Manny, the spell. Uh-huh. Manny, the hey, spell. Hurry, right. the no spell. Like actual boss. <laughs> oh, shit. Manny, the spell. The fucking the, the gate key. <laughs> um, is he actually casting anything on the on the gate key? Uh, no, he's just I, looking at it. Just looking at it. Mm, I'm gonna leave it be for now. Okay, so I need takes everybody a, to roll initiative. Takes some, at least a minute to freaking Fuck. cast on there. <laughs> I'm I'm like, well, guys, I'm about to jump the gun here. All right, I got a 12, Long got an 18, and the Terror Bird got a 2. You got a 12, you said? I got a 12, Long got an 18, and Terror Bird got Ooh. a 2. All right. That's my a natural face, 20 the, plus 1. That skull mark appears on my face. My eyes turn white because I'm ready for this shit. Okay. Money, what'd you get? And Vaughn, what'd you get? Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, in- initiative. Oh, my bad. This is Logan telling us that when Natural, he's going uh, to kill us, he's going to kill us. Ha! What'd you get, Manny? Natural 20 plus 1. So, 21. Yeah, yep. Okay. <laughs> and Igneal? Natural 1 plus 1. So, 2. Do I get any bonus dexterity for haste? I don't think I do. Um, I think haste actually helps your initiative. Let me check. I think it gives you advantage on initiative if I'm right. No. Uh, no, it does not help. How far would you say we are from um from Renfro? You guys are only maybe 15 feet away. Okay. But. It's the top of the turn. Vaughn, what's your dexterity real quick? Mine? Oh, my, my dexterity? Yes. Wait, what? Why are you asking my dexterity? That's because weird. you're going at the same time as Renfro, and to decide who goes first, uh, whoever has the highest dexterity. Plus one. Plus one? So he goes first. Oh, okay. Javon, you cast your spell, and it fails, but you see his eyes kind of cloud over as the spell tries to take effect, and he kind of shakes it off, and he just turns and looks at you. And he goes, I, I give him the, the Will Smith shrug. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head and says that that's how it's going to be. So he's going to go first. Layer See actions. him get up. The gate he kind of vanishes. He kind of levitates himself up and he pulls out a rapier. And he just looks at you 
and he just lightning fast darts over to you and he's going to make two attacks against you. Is it him or is it uh, like is is it an attack or is it um, does it seem to be magical? Uh, it's an attack. Okay. So the first one is a fourteen to hit. Watch that... the actual freaking immediately attack us too. If it's the if it if it uh, if it's the same number, is that a hit? Is that a fail? If if it if it's the same number, it's a hit. Okay, then it hits. Okay, the other one misses with a. Uh, 11. So only one hit. So gotcha. you take. God damn it. So you take. Wow, okay. You take five points of piercing damage. And okay. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Five points, <coughs> and then you said Constitution. Yes. Constitution. I got a twenty-three. Twenty-three. So yes, you, you feel this. You feel your body kind of tense up, and you kind of everything kind of slows down for a second, but you shake it off. But you do take five points of piercing damage. And then All at right. the end of this turn, you see Renfro kind of, almost kind of, turn into this smoke and then vanish, as he turns invisible. Gotcha. Um, oh yeah, Vaughn, I you're up. De- I probably don't notice him with uh, Detect Magic, do I? No. Because that'd be the invisibility I need. Okay. But it is your but he, just tur- he just turned invisible. Damn right? it. If I could use Misty Step as an interaction, that'd be great. Alright, 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 alright. Um, alright, so, let's see. Seeing that this is going on and everything, I, uh, and I'm assuming he's in the vicinity of us, I cast Spirit Ooh. Guardians on it. I, I cast Spirit Guardians on me. Okay. Actually, while, while Manning's doing that, can I go ahead and cast Counterspell? It's a reaction. And um, on me? Make, it's, not a oh, wait, it's, it's not a spell. Uh, it's not a spell. It's a natural, Shit. yeah, it's a natural ability he has. Some bitch. I try, guys. <laughs> Alright, so everybody that's close by me within a 15-foot radius will be basically surrounded by this, and any people... Oh, okay, let's see... Let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay, when a creature enters the area for the first time on the turn or starts in it there on their turn, they make a wisdom saving throw or take 3d8 um, radiant or necrotic damage based on my alignment. On a success, they take half as much. Okay. So does he take damage right. initially or only on the start of his turn? On the start of his turn, that was my action, and as my bonus action, I um, go ahead and use spiritual um, spirit um, the spiritual weapon. Okay. And I place it close by, um, over where uh, Ran is. Okay. And it takes the form of Mister Clean, but in the shape of but the form of a furbolg. Okay. And immediately, immediately starts punching the air around to try to hit something. Okay, so go ahead and make an attack roll. I'm I'm JoJoing this thing. Alright. I'm JoJoing this Mr. Clean, Logan. (laughs) That's, yeah, you you figured out what I was doing. I was going to go ahead and say, (laughs) Senor Clean. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, so... That's going to be a uh, 19. With disadvantage? Hit. Yep, with oh, disadvantage. That'll hit. All right, sweet. All right, all right. I forgot, um, shit. Let me see, we're, uh, we're spiritual weapon. Hey, let's see, let's see, let's see. 1d8 plus, um, plus my, plus my spellcasting modifier. Okay. Six plus five. So eleven. Wait. No, wait. Four. Four. So ten. Yeah, four. Ten. Yeah. It takes ten or aura. Okay. So your your spiritual weapon kind of lashes out, and you see it kind of connect, and you hear the the crunch of bone being hit. 
Wait, yes. Okay, that's fine. There, All right. your your spiritual weapon counts as a magical weapon, right? Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Um. It does, but it does force damage. Okay, hold on. He has to make a concentration check to see if he stays invisible. So. Yes. He has to beat a 10. He rolled a 12, so he succeeds. So he's still invisible. All right. Um, I get closer to where I heard the cracking and the banging and shit. Okay. And stand close by. That's the end of your turn? Yep. Long, you're up. All right. Um, Long, by me, right? Uh, so, wait, did Manny hit? Yeah, Manny hit. Yep. He's All right, Long, by. Uh, I'm going to say, say that Long was focused on where that, that impact made. And we're not really moving fucking far. So Long's going to go ahead and push up and go to attack that spot with his weapon. Okay, make an attack roll at disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, Logan, as a heads up, when he tries to get out, he tries to move out of the area, his speed is reduced by half. Okay. You said with disadvantage? With disadvantage. Some bitch. All right, well, I got 16. 16 misses. So Long goes to swing, and he, he just can't quite figure out where uh, Renfro is. He just kind of swings wildly. If you had an advantage, I would have had a 20. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, that's the end of Long's turn? Yep, yep. Okay, you're up, Ran. All right, um, I'm going to, um, fuck. Don't forget uh, about me. Right? We haven't forgotten about you. He rolled really shitty. Oh, uh, he rolled, he, he's like a two. He's definitely last on the list. Um, he's, he's just flying around in circles. I'm sure there's some way to fucking mark him. Okay, so I know the general area he's at? Yes. Um... Actually, give me one second. I'm getting a phone call from work. Can we take a quick break? Yeah, I'm going to get a drink while you, while you take right. a phone call. Okay, I'm back. All right. Welcome back. All right. So how's everybody been? 
I've had a full week off. Been pretty Average. Relaxed. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, yeah. Perfectly well. So what games are you going to play with Charles since he's back? Let's see. Still need to complete our co-op uh, Divinity Gaming. And to persuade him into playing Destiny 2 since it's free. So those things. And um, last thing, probably uh, try to figure out how to make plans for um, hanging out sometime before he leaves. All right. How could see invisibility? What level are we, Logan? Eight? Eight. Yes, we are. Okay. <sighs> no way. What the f what? So, Logan, from the reaction of us, like, attacking their, attacking this dude, did uh, the other dude decide, hey, you know what, maybe I'll join in? Or did he just, like, run away? Um, make a perception check. Uh, he ran away. I got you. Let's see. Fifteen. Fifteen? Draxel is at the edge of the forest, holding his scythe, kind of shaking. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm not close to him. Can't give him words of encouragement. But. Hey. You know what's funny, Logan? What? Is, um, when, uh, we started, uh, initi like, initiative or whatever... I rolled when I casted haste. I rolled the um, um, for my sorcery wild magic, and I got a fifteen. And then when I rolled my initiative, I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. All right now. All the dead. Manny, what is that book that has those new spells called? Uh, Manny, wait, 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 which book? Oh, wait, oh! Okay, yeah, the uh, Guide to Wildmount. The Dudamancy. It has a lot of OPS, um, time and gravity magic. Bells. All made by Matt Mercer. Oh, yeah. Literally, um, what there is, it's the ninth level spell in the book that basically uh, oh. destroys the laws of physics. Did you want the party? Okay. Alright, so... I can't use Till the Dead on him, because he's invisible.
do 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 do. Oh boy. Where's your bomb kill? I don't know, I might back to the party. But... He'll be here. He's trying to join. Let me make an invite, or not an invite only. Just left again. Is he having trouble connecting to someone? I guess. I don't know. Probably. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey. Right, hello. hello. Yeah. At first, they kept on putting me in the, in the old parties with Charles and them. Like, mm. but but it said that everybody was disconnected. That's crazy. Weird. It's still your turn. All right, so around the area where um, we, where I saw Manny hit, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast. Um, what is that? Magic circle. Magic circle. What is that? Yep. Uh, magic circle. A ten foot radius, twenty foot tall cylinder, appears, and you select celestial space, fiends, elementals, or undead. The chosen creature cannot enter or leave the circle. Has the advantage. Jamal has a has a casting time of one minute. Mean you have to cast it for one minute. That's, That's fine. Total. That means you have to cast for ten turns. Mean it won't take effect until after I mean, ten turns, man. But I can also cancel it. You say wait, True. wait. So I mean, yeah, I'll hold it until I until either well, I he escapes or y'all need to. But at least I can keep him in a spot. No, no, I mean like as in it means like, the spell won't take effect for ten turns. Ah, got you. Okay. Well, because yeah, every yeah, every well, turn is six seconds, yeah. So a minute is. Yeah, is no, you're turns. right. Um. Okay, then, sons of bitches. I will. I, there's no guarantee. All right, well, fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and rush up to the last known location of mm -hmm. him then, and I'm gonna cast bestow curse. Okay. He's right next to Mixter Clean somewhere. Yeah, me, me, and my uh, my JoJo reference are gonna go ahead and go after him. <laughs> All right, um, creature touch. So I'm gonna try and touch him at this point. So I have disadvantage. All right, seventeen. That'll hit. I got seventeen and eighteen, boss. Okay, so I reach out and I touch the creature. Touched. Well, actually, uh, I don't think it was really gonna roll. Oh, level, level, level. To touch. The creature touched oh. must make a wisdom saving throw or receive one of the following effects. Um, and the effect that I'm going to... I can read them all out if you want me to, but the one I'm going to choose is... Uh, what level are you going to do it at, too? Because depending on what level you do it, it does an even more powerful curse. I mean, the one I'm going to do is he uh, makes a wisdom saving throw every turn or does nothing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's so, funny. That, so you're going to make a... You're gonna make a wasted legendary with resistances. That's oh. fucking. That's <laughs> fucked up. Okay, so that's what's fucked. the spell save I have to be? Uh, I'm gonna assume that it's my it's my spell save. They have to yeah. be a uh, sixteen. It's a uh, what is it? Wisdom. Uh yes. So a thirteen. So he's gonna burn another one of his legendary resistances to auto succeed. You son of a bitch. 
I, I know, and then I'm going to go ahead and as a reaction, since I'm like right by him, I'm going to go ahead and use Misty Step. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm going to move back. How, how big of a room are we at right now? You're in are an open in? field. Oh, we're in an open field. So I'm going to move back um, 25 feet. 25 feet, okay. Yeah. And that'll be the end of my move, my, okay. my turn. At the end of your turn, he's going to use one of his legendary actions and make a rapier attack against your brother. Okay. So that's a 16 to hit. That, yeah, that definitely hits, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So your brother takes 7 points of piercing damage, and I need him to make uh, a constitution saving throw. Alright, 7 points. And constitution for him as a zombie. Ooh, hit plus three. Twenty-one. 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 Yeah. So again, your brother is not affected. Yeah. Good job, Long. That's the end of your turn. It is now the Terror Bird's turn or Igneal's turn. Whoever wants to go first. You go the Terror Bird go first. Um, <laughs> how close is the Terror Bird to to the spot? I guess. <laughs> it, he moved right up to the group of you, so it's like within five feet. Okay, um, so to attack, Wait, I literally so, have to move. So all three of us got, like, initiative five? Oh, shit. It's crazy. Um. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, no. That's right. I got that 20. I'm thinking about the last, um, last wave. My bad. He's five feet away, so I don't really have to move. So I'm going to go ahead and have the terror bird. You serrated beak. Melee weapon attack. Okay. Uh, Renfro is no longer invisible since he attacked, so it's just a standard roll. Awesome. All right. Uh, okay, so I don't have to do disadvantage. Right? No disadvantage. Just a straight roll. All right. Uh, 15. 15 does not hit. All right, then the Terror Bird is going to go ahead and move back and pretty much put itself right right in front of me. Okay, but it's... As a shield! Uh, since it's moving, it gets it, Renfro gets an attack of opportunity. That's fine. That's uh, 18 to hit. That uh, that hits. So your terror bird takes 10 points of piercing damage. I need to make a constitution saving throw. All right. You said 10 points? 10 points. All right. And then constitution. Not bad. 22. Not 20. Yep. It succeeds. Yeah. Good job. It okay. comes back and it places itself in front of me. Okay. Igneal, you're up. All right. So the only threat is him, right? Yes. Um, who's the closest to him? Um, you're all you, he, you all were grouped up when you started the combat, so he's yeah. right up in your face. You, Manny, and um, Long are all still there. So please don't right. fireball. Um. I use my bonus action to um, cast uh, uh, my uh, barrier thing on Javon. Uh, do you have to touch him to do it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, then you're fine. Okay. Um, let me check it really quick. You know, as long as I can see him within 60 feet of me. Okay, you're fine. Um... And then I'm going to just. Hmm. I'm going to uh, attack uh, Renfro with my uh, sword of wounding twice. Okay, make your attack rolls. Um. 16 plus 1. So 17? Oh no, plus one that is 20 unnatural. So the 20 hits? Alright. Oh. <clears throat> and then 17. 17 hits. Nice. Okay. Um. All 
I gotta look up my sword again. So I think it's a D8. So it says once per turn when you hit a creature with an attack using the magic, this magic weapon, you can wound the target. So that means if I hit him twice, it'll only count for one wounding him once, yes, right? only once. In a turn, okay. Alright, let me roll damage. Oh, that's terrible. Um... Nine damage total. Okay. Then on his turn, he'll take 1d4. Um, he's going to use one of his legendary actions to make a rapier attack against you. So that's a... By the way, did he move away from me when he no, did that? No, he did not move. Okay. So that's a 21 to hit. That just hits. You take six points of piercing damage, and I need a constitution saving throw. Uh, I am proficient in constitution, bitch. Uh, eighteen plus five, so twenty-three. You succeed, so no ill effects. Nice. Uh, and that will be the turn? end of my turn. Okay, yes. it's now Renfro's turn, so he has to make what kind of save, Manny? A wisdom save. For uh, spirit guardians. Uh, that'll be a total of six. Uh, no, he fails. So how much did he take? Uh, let me look at it again. I think it was 3d8, um, radiant damage. Let me, uh, go back to that page. It's... fuck. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3d8. 3d8, so right. roll the damage. One, this is two, three, here we go. That was a good roll, holy shit. Uh, let's see. 23. 23. Points of radiant damage. He also takes two points of necrotic damage. Okay. And then he can, uh, he can make a DC Constitution saving throw to end the effect of all wounds on itself. On its Is that self. an action? Um, yeah, I can use an action too. Okay, it's good to know. Um, it's still his turn. So. He's going to make two rapier attacks, one against Yuvon and one against Igneal. So the one against Igneal is... Oh, wait. Yes? No, I think it can just do it automatically. It doesn't have to oh, use okay. an action for that. I'll do that in a second. But um, the one against you, Igneal, mm -hmm. is a 23. And the one to against... hit. To hit. And the one against Yuvon is a 15. Nope. It hits me. Okay, so Miney, you take nine points of piercing damage. I need a constitution saving throw. Right. I hate this fucking dice. Um, Eleven. Eleven? Okay. So he stabs you with the rapier, and you feel this, just this, almost as if time starts to slow down. Um, your speed is now halved. Okay. Okay. And at the end of his turn, he is going to turn invisible again. That's but not the end of his turn. Vaughn, you're up. Did he move or anything? No, he's still with you guys. They didn't move at all. 
out of the radius. Alright, so I am going to have a Mr. Clean attack in the area where he disappeared. In that Gerada area. Logan? Hold on, sorry, my computer is making me schedule a time for Windows updates. Say again? Did he do his constitution save, by the way? Uh, who? Oh. Uh, run for over my wounding thing. Uh, that's a constitution save, so a total of, uh, 16. Uh. Alright, so... Yeah, he, he succeeds, so my okay, one so thing no is... Yeah. So what were you saying, Manny? Alright, so I'm going to attack with Mr. Clean the area where he disappeared. Okay, make an attack roll with disadvantage. And... Okay. Um, uh, 13 doesn't hit, right? 13 does not hit. So, Mr. Clean swings wildly, doesn't connect with anything. <laughs> it's great when you say Mr. Clean. It, it doesn't it feel good looking. Alright, so... <laughs> um, alright, so I'm going to use uh, my cantrip. Um, play that cantrip. I'm going to go ahead and cast... Um, Guiding Bolt. Okay, so that's an attack roll. Yep. So make it with disadvantage. Yep, I got you. And then, uh, um, um, let's, uh, let's see, 14 plus 7, that's 21. That'll hit. All right, and that's, um, uh, 1d8 radiant damage plus... Okay, so I'll hit him with five points of uh, radiant damage, and now you see like a glowing light on an invisible body, just glowing there. Um, whoever attacks next has advantage slash disadvantage because of that kind of concept. So they they can attack him normally next on their turn. Okay. Um, at the end of your turn, he is going to make another rapier attack against you, Igneal. But that's only a... That bitch. That's only a 13 to hit. Misses. Okay, so he goes to stab at you. He misses. So that's the end of Vaughn's turn. Long is up. All right, Long is going to... He's right. He's still right beside him, right? Yes. Can't really retreat. Um, uh, he's going to go ahead and do an attack. I mean, that's really all he can do. He's okay. going to leave and get You attacked. have... You're no longer disadvantaged, you just have regular attack. Gotcha. That is 16. A 16 will miss. Alright. All right. Long goes to smack with his axe, and he just barely misses. It doesn't hit him, so the thing doesn't dissipate yet. I'm st and Renfro is now visible. What? Oh, visible you know already? What? Javon, you would, have, uh, you would have advantage. Oh, wait, because... Logan! When he but, attacked, when Renfro attacked, he lost his invisibility. Oh, okay. Well, he did. Yeah. Oh, wow. Remember, he did. The, he did at the end of your turn. He attacked oh, Igneal. Oh. Okay. 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 So basically. No, I mean, I still missed. Oh, I still missed. Then that okay. was the, the, my last roll was my highest. I appreciate it though. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of Long's turn. Rand, you're up. All right. Um, you see Rand in the back, um, behind the terror bird, and all you hear is. Um. <laughs> so then I, <laughs> I place my hand on the on the ground and I use uh, summon greater demons. Okay. How yeah. long? How long does that take? What's this spell? Uh, I mean, it's instant is my assumption, but I, I can I hold I, I can hold it up to an hour. Uh, I use a vial of blood that I always keep on me. Um, utter foul words. Those are the foul words I say. Challenge rating of five or lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and call in uh, Balgura. It's uh, page third. Oh, sorry, page fifty-six of the Monster Manual. You need to see it. Um, oh, I'm getting the book. No problem. It's a that's a big nasty creature. Yeah, what beautiful. Page? Fifty-six. Looks like a giant red blue ape. Yeah.
Uh, so, Javon, you might actually like watching uh, Critical Role Campaign 2, especially since uh, Travis William um, literally sums that thing I'll quite definitely a few check times. It out. I think the, the first time I watched it, I watched like some of the earlier stuff, and there was just a lot of talking. I wasn't really feeling it, so I had to just find probably a, a, another fucking episode. Yeah. So I can't do too much talking. I roll initiative for it, and I control it? Um... Roll initiative for the demon, which has its own turns when you summon it. And on each of your turns thereafter, you can issue a verbal command. So I'm going to say me, just like I can order for what I want it to do. Okay, so go ahead, roll initiative for it. Um, which requires no action on my part. Uh, telling it what to do, what it must do on its next turn. If you issue no command, it spends its turn attacking any creature within reach uh, that has a tax stick at the end of each of the demon's turns. It makes a charisma saving throw. The demon has disadvantage on the saving throw. Uh, if I say its true name on a failed save, the demon continues to obey you. On a successful save, the control of the demon ends for the rest of the duration, and the demon spends its turns pursuing and attacking anything non-demon to the best of its ability. If you stop concentrating the spell before it reaches its full duration, an uncontrolled demon doesn't disappear for 1d6 rounds. <laughs> it still has hit points. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, my first order is going to be to tell me its name. Okay. So roll initiative for it real quick just so we can get it in the initiative. 17. <laughs> it, it is. This is what... Yep. It kind of growls and says, uh, my name is R Ruma. Well, Ruma, from this day forward, you can call me Master. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Yep, this is his first turn. <laughs> okay, that's the end of your turn, though. Um, that's my. I don't really have to move. Let me double check. Make sure I don't have anything else. Uh, that's an action. Yeah, I think that's Logan, the, the only bonus yeah, action. Logan doesn't want to move away, step. so I don't use Warcaster abilities. Yeah, plus he's surrounded by three people, so I mean, without moving, he, if he moves, he's, he's getting attacked by at least three people right then and there. Um, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, it is now the Terror Bird or Igniel's turn. Whoever wants to go first. Uh, Terror Bird can go first. Uh, Terror Bird is going to... Stay put. And, and again, put itself in front of me. Okay. So, mine is your turn. Alright, I'm going to. I don't know. Um. Oh, we, he's still like right in front of us. Like we're all grouped up. Right? Yeah, he, yeah. None of y'all have moved this entire time. <laughs> Fuck. Um. He knows something that we don't know. He knows something that he watch. So. I can't really use any of my spells right now. Okay. Is, uh, just... Did he skedaddle? Our good pal. Draxel. Yeah. Make a perception check. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's, uh, I did apologize to him before we attacked. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. He is still at the edge of the forest, still kind of hiding backwards. God. All right. All right. I said we take all the rest of the stuff. He doesn't deserve the throne. I'm down with selling this nigga shit. This is the end of the campaign, I tell you. We're just gonna sit here on the throne. Alright, so the I'm going to... Hold on. The Three Kings? Of the Feywild? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I think we should, yeah. We, we should just be kings once we kill this guy. And kill Draxel, too. 
Because apparently Drexel's scared of this guy. Nah, he's gonna be our slave. Nah, he's gonna run away, I'm pretty sure of it. Not if I put him in a circle. <laughs> and it does take what he still hasn't he has to attune for the his weapons for thirty minutes and I'm pretty sure it has not been thirty minutes to attune all that it stuff. Not been 30 minutes. Yep. God damn it, dude. We're we're all grouped up, right? Yeah, yeah literally, the only, only people who aren't is me, the demon, and the terror bird. <laughs> I, um, I, I couldn't move long back without him getting an advantage on, a, on attack. Yeah, I wanted to thunder wave or thunder step, but I can't because I'll hit you guys if I do. Um, Almighty push. I'm looking at my items to see if I can do anything with these. I don't think I have anything. Fuck. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think what I want to fucking do. So I have Quicken Spell. And what was my other one that I picked? <laughs> All right, um, Let me just look one more thing up. Um... I'll tell you what spell I really want. They can only get on a weapon. Death finger. That's freaking ridiculous freaking spell. And costing two. Oh, that's to maintain my concentration. Oh wait, do I need? To, fuck, I need to do that, don't I? Cause I took damage. Yes. For my haste. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, dude. What is your constitution save to keep a spell going for it's, concentration? Uh, what does it have to be? Matt, how much damage did you, um, did you take from that one time? Um, I believe it was nine. I'm not sure. Nine? Okay, so you have to be a yeah, constitution. You have to be a uh, save of ten. That's the max. Okay, uh, I got minimum. thirteen, so yeah, I'm nine. good on that then. Um... I can't move without taking an attack of opportunity, right? Uh, yes. You'll be taking out. You will get an attack of opportunity if you try to, unless you disengage. But that's an action. If I disengage, I can't attack, right? Yes. You can use bonus. Okay, bonus I'm just gonna go ahead and attack. attack him twice. Fuck it, just to make it simple and stop wasting everyone's time. Make your first one misses. Um, the second one is fifteen to this hit. Is unfortunately. Damn it. Um, sorry. It was that the will be the end of my turn. Okay. This is now Renfro's turn. He's gonna make two attacks, one against both attacks against you, Vaughn. Okay. So neither of them hit. What were they? A four and a seven. Oh man. <laughs> God, he was so close. Okay, so um 
He's My gonna turn? turn invi at the end of his turn. He's gonna turn invisible, but that's the end of his turn. Oh, by the way, he's supposed to. Uh, uh, oh, he has to make a wisdom oh. save. Uh, he fails. Uh, he fails. He fails. All right, I get to roll three more d8. I do three more d8 damage. Ah, fuck! All the dice roll down. Let me go ahead and get this one. All right, that's um. That is uh twenty. Oh damn it! I just closed what? all my windows on accident. Oh, you son of a bitch! That's twenty points of rate damage at the start of his turn. Okay. All right. My turn. Uh, yes, it's your turn. All right. Um, did anybody still attack him? Like hit him at all? Uh, with the with the guy in bolt when it was effective. No one attacked. No one's hit him yet. So the guiding bolt is still active. Okay, I see that light. Uh, Mister Clean goes in for the for the uh, multi the multi attack. Okay, make your attack rolls. Oh, no, it's not a multi attack, but oh, it's you know what I mean. Attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it goes to Aurora. Aura. Um, that's gonna be a fourteen. Fourteen will miss, unfortunately. You have advantage, though. problem. No, no. Guiding Bolt. Only because he had a disadvantage because of the, um, being oh, invisible, right? Oh, you're right. Yes, he Because yes. he's invisible. I'll, okay. ta I'll, take, I'll take the advantage if you want no, to. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, since I still have uh, another attack. Uh, man, I can see, and I can see the light and everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Go where I see the light, and I'm assuming that's right on his butt. And I'm gonna touch his butt and inflict wounds. Okay. So what do I have to save for? It's not a save. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's an attack roll. Oh, it's a tackle. So go ahead and make it with just a straight roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See this one. And that's a twenty-one. <gasps> uh, hit. Uh, e, e, e. Sorry, I need a. H H. Uh. Should here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So three D. Uh, three D tens. Of uh, necrotic damage. So where's the D10s? Here we go. Uh, here we go. There we go. That is a. Uh, if I'm reading something and it says plus seven to hit, do I get an extra seven to my roll? All right, nineteen points. Are you reading about Gura's stats? About the yeah the the bulgura. Yeah, basically it's... you roll a d twenty and you add that to seven. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, appreciate it. Okay, so what was the total? Nineteen, maybe? nineteen points of uh, necrotic damage and make a constitution save. <clears throat> Let's see if you hold your invisible. Thing. That's a natural one. All right, he's back to being visible. He's not cool. just visible, but he's naked. Right, Logan? Right. That's the end of your turn, Vaughn? Um, yes. Okay, it is and now Vaughn's turn. Bolt has faded, but yeah. Alright, and he's still in the exact same spot, right? He has not moved. Alright, well, Long's going to go ahead and try and make that move. That way, at least if anybody wants to do anything bigger, <laughs> he'll get caught in it. I'll just take that old, that, that, um, about that, that, yeah. He's going to move back towards me as well. It's a four, so he misses. All right. Long runs back, and then he pets the terror butter on the head and then takes up uh, defense, a defensive position then, there. Okay. It is now your demon's turn. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, and um, call for, uh, you want to do the, the roll before or after I, I tell it to do something? What are you trying to do? What role do I have to make? Uh, the, the, I think it's a charisma. 
Steven appears, all my space, verbal command, da 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 da. A demon has a disadvantage on a saving throw if you say its true name, which I, I know its name, so it has disadvantage on a save. Uh, yeah, it makes a charisma saving throw. <laughs> if, it, if it succeeds, it breaks free. If it doesn't, then. Uh, what is it? A charisma? Yeah. Which is a minus one, so a seven. Then he, that motherfucker is still under my control. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to cast uh, phantasmal force. On uh, what you call it? On Renfro. Oh, on Renfro. Okay. What's the save for that? Uh, da, 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 intelligence saving throw. Okay. That's a fifteen. That pass. I think it's a DC thirteen. Is what I think this yeah, has. Yeah. So it doesn't take effect. All right. Um. So then it's going to move up. As last thing, it's going to move up to. Renfro. As my final command. Yeah, I tell him to dab. So I tell him to use Fatismal Force to fail, so then I just I tell her to move closer. And she moves okay. Closer. That's the end of the ball. Gurr's turn is now your turn, Ram. All right. Um, I am going to cast Vol- Voltric Sphere behind, about 15 feet behind. Um, Voltric Renfro. Sphere? Yeah, because I don't want it to... I don't want it to... Well, I'll say 20 feet, so it'll be right within range. I, I want to hit him and not hit everybody else. Okay. What's the uh, point at a place. That? It is... A dexterity saving throw. That's a 17. All right, each of you makes a dexterity throw. On a successful creature takes half the initial damage and no damage at the end. Okay. So... I roll 10d4. Okay. That's a lot. I'm probably just going to put that in on, on here. Fuck it. Fuck it. 10d4. Board. So it. I wrote. I got twenty in all, so he takes ten acid damage. Ten acid damage. <laughs> yes, sir. Because it takes half, and it, it, it doesn't take any at the end of his turn now. Lucky son, bitch. Okay. I think that's yeah. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Up next is the Terror Bird and Igneal. Terror Bird uh, c- continues what it does. It takes defense in front of me. Okay, Igneal, you're up. All right. Um. Hey, Logan, what's the uh, challenge rating of this Fae Lord? Uh, a 12. You said 5? I said 12. I hate you. <laughs> I want a Fae Lord pet. You never give me what I want, Logan. You have a Terror Bird. <laughs> I would gladly get rid of a Terror Bird for a Fae Lord. You had a hag. You killed her. <laughs> you were jealous of our love. Hey, you're the one who made her touch the skull. That is extremely true. I'm glad it was her and not my brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's ironic about it, Yo, too. I would have been so upset. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so... so on the plus side, Javon, you could have just dug him up and just made him into a nice flower pot. That's very um, Everyone's still where they are, right? Pretty yes. much. Uh, Long has moved. Long has moved, and I moved my um, Bulgura up. So, I mean, you can go ahead and... Uh, you hurt her, I'm not really too fucking worried. I assumed it's a her. Yeah, but I'll hit you guys, because you guys are all around me, right? No, we're not. Me... Me and all, everybody, all my people, except for the, the demon are up there, are, are away. We're all uh, like 20 feet away. I believe 20. Vaughn is also still up near. Yeah, Vaughn's uh, up there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, just hit me. Vaughn and the just demon are it. up close. Just go for it. I, I'm not, I haven't been hit once. Yeah, I have, I have resistance. I mean, she has resistance to fire, so do your thing, bro. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to um, Thunderstep. Okay. 
Stand like um, me. behind. Uh, the uh, um, what's his face? Renfro. Renfro. So if Manny is next to me, he's gonna have to uh, do a save. All right, what's the one I have to beat? And then Renfro's gonna have to do a save. You gotta Ooh, beat that... 15, and it's a it's uh. It's a deck save, right? Uh, hold on. No, it's a constitution saving throw. Oh, thank so God. Renfro's that... an unnatural 20. I got an unnatural That's 20 another... as well. Bitch. Well, they both save. <laughs> so they, take, they both take half damage. Okay. Uh, what is it? It's 3d10, I think? No. Yeah, 3d10, okay. If I have something has resistance to something, what's that mean? Resistance means you take half damage. So my demon will take half half damage. <laughs> yes. So that has resistance to lightning as well. So half of your half. Depending on what this is, I have to make a constitution save. Oh yeah. Don't forget if you have Warcaster, you have advantage. Thirteen. Concentration saves. Thirteen damage. Alright. But it, uh, did his thing do a save? Your thing do a save, Javon? Yeah. I succeeded. I succeeded my save. Did it, did yours yeah. succeed? What was your roll? Uh, what did you have to beat? You had to beat a 15. Yeah, he rolled a 15. Okay. And then, yeah, it has resistance to lightning as well, so. So does it take half, so. of half Logan? Uh, yeah, you take half. <laughs> yeah. So okay, you take like a so... quarter damage. It's 13, so... Half of 13 would be about 6-ish. 7 being the highest, and half of 7 would be 4. And half that is 3. 4, 3, 3. That worked. All right. Is that good, Logan? Yes, that works. Okay. So, and then with my other action, I'm going to stab it in the back with a um, my sword of wounding. Do I have advantage on that because I'm flanking it? You would have advantage. Okay, we're good on my source or my spell save that or the wild magic thing. Alright. A uh, nineteen hits, right? Nice hit. for getting the year wild mage. Okay, um let me roll damage, D eight. I need you to fuck up a, a spell roll so you can cast fucking Corinne's on top of this motherfucker. Yeah, like no, I'm egg. sorry. <laughs> um <laughs> Or grow a beard. Good, stop being a good mage. Sorcerer. <laughs> or grow a beard. Five damage. Okay. At the end of your turn, Renfro's gonna make a rapier attack against you. With a natural one, he does not hit. Sorry, bitch. Sit down. That's the end of your turn. It is now his turn. Alright. Uh, make a wisdom save. Uh, another natural one. <laughs> oh my god, I've been, I, I have all these new dice and they all roll horribly. Also, um, he also takes 1d4. Oh, fuck you. Necrotic. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, only one damage, though. Still. Hey, 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 Logan, here. You looked out, you looked out, so, you, lo you looked out very well, okay? I rolled, um, 3d8 and they all turned out ones. So he takes three. <laughs> Plus four. Uh, was, he takes I feel like the, the, the more the more ones you roll at a time, the, the harsher the effect should be. Like you don't just trip <laughs> and fall outside. Like the earth itself fall... opens up and you fall into a chasm into hell. You fall through the crag and get well, you freaking. He <laughs> had tired. eight health left, but Miney rolled a one, and then you rolled a seven, so he's dead. We kill Ripple. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> You watch as the guardians swirl around him, and he kind of swats at them, and you see as he kind of gets a little you see woozy, the, and then you see the pixie dragons start tearing apart, they trying just to start eat him. ripping him apart, and he's being torn away. I loot him. Sure that... <laughs> yeah. His body kind of uh... falls, and you see all the the crowd that gathered. They all kind of look at you shocked, and they all take off running. I look over at um, Drexel and say, "Are you going to come over here?" You see Draxel's got a big smile on his face, and he just kind of 
saunters over and he's like, that was impressive. It hasn't been 30 minutes yet, right? No, it is not. Can I look at the scythe real quick? I need to, I want to examine it. He, you, are you asking him to hand it over? Yeah, I just want to look at it. He, he, he materializes it and hands it to you. All right, uh, I put in the back holding. Do we, do we find anything on his body? Uh, make on, it an escape check. Oh yeah, let's just check this motherfucker. We're just little looters. <laughs> little looting hands. So, now that you have the throne, what are you gonna do with this? He goes well. Wait, is it his throne or our throne? How does this work? He kind of looks at this. <laughs> Technically, it's your throne, but if you wish to relinquish it to me, I'd be more than happy to take it from you. What do we get for relinquishing it to you? He goes, well, the deal was I would let you take some of my magical items. So you can take... Originally, I was going to let you take two, but since I no longer have to worry about Renfro, you can take all four. Oh, look at that. Just you give me time that? to gain my powers back. Well, I have a better idea. What does Renfro have that we might want? And also, um, oh my God, keep how, about, how about we are the kings, but you can rule in our stead? Make a persuasion check. Bro, can I help him out with that? Uh, okay. Um, I, I got like one last spell for this. Shit. I go ahead and give him a... a I give him a pep, um, hype, like, pat on his back. Enhance ability for charisma advantages. Okay. Yeah, I think mine's still going, isn't it, Manny? <laughs> nope. Uh, as soon as I cast it... That's right, yeah, your thing ended, that's right. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. Um, so we'll what do I do? Kings, but we'll let him... Roll a persuasion check. With, with advantage. advantage. What am I... Okay, with advantage? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You got this, Manny. Um... Real good. Persuasion, charisma, I don't do not have proficiency, but I think I have high charisma, so. Plus four. Yeah, Alright, guys. That's what I got, man. You got this, bro. Oh, that's good. And that's worse, but that's alright. Um, <laughs> math. A 22. 22. My man. He kind of looks at you and he smiles, and he says... I do owe you a great debt. I yes, have no problem allowing you to be the rulers, and then I will just take your place while you're gone. Sounds good. All right. He goes, first That's off, nice. you should head. You see him kind of snap his fingers, we're... and the force kind of spins around like it did with Renfro. So back where's to that, his fault? Back to the Grand Hall. And he says, first off, you should probably take your gate key back. And he points to the throne. And at the foot of the throne is the gate key and the, and the skull. I want my gate key. I worked so hard. To freak, I paid so much money for we'll, that, We'll leave him the skull. He can keep the skull. <laughs> oh, I, mean. uh, I wrote a 16 for uh, investigation as well, Logan, on the body. Okay. Heads up. Uh, on the body, you find 500 gold in a small pouch. Oh, broke-ass dude. Well, you get, you get the idea that he didn't really care much for money. Yeah, oh, broke-ass. That doesn't mean he still ain't broke-ass. a piece of shit. I care about magic um, items, that's all I care about. So, where's the dead bodies, items. by chance? What do you mean dead bodies? The dead bodies. It's only just his. It's just his. No, well, we, we no, no, I mean, like, he had, like, a whole bunch of adventure corpses and such. Oh, and well, he says, uh, Draxel says, they are scattered throughout this, uh, castle, and he kind of gestures to the grand hall you're in. He goes, there shouldn't be any resistance, so you should be feel free, feel free to explore. Uh, um, Does he have I a get... normal-ass rapier? Like, did we find anything searching his body real quick? Yeah, the, um, the, the five, I got 500 gold. The 15. Oh, I didn't roll. Oh, with a 15, I, Javon? Yeah. I rolled an 18. Yeah. 18? Okay. I clap um, my hands real loud, and I scream out, Servants, come here, please. <laughs> okay, one second, Manny. Um, Igniel and Ran, you guys search his body thoroughly. You practically strip yeah. him naked. Yeah, put naked. Uh, you find his rapier, which is a, a plus two rapier. You strip him naked naked? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Plus two. Hell yeah, we, we go through what's we, we it, go all the cavities. The weapon that what's his long has? Long has a plus one battle axe. He's going to keep he that. Should... He's going to have the rapier. Oh, uh, I was going to say he probably, well. Because long... probably, we'll probably just sell the rapier. Because I'm not going to use it. Mm. Okay, um. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it then. Do you want me to keep it or you want me to put it on my paper? 
Uh, I'll give I'll give that to uh, to Long, and then you can just sell his his uh, his great axe instead if you want. Right. He doesn't need it at that point. Okay. What else did we find? Sorry. You find the five hundred gold, like I said, the rapier, um, and you do notice that his clothes. Make an Arcana check. Alright. Who wants to grab that gold or add it to their... I don't need it. Oh, bro, I, I, my character st- uh, is, is money hungry. I'll definitely take that shit if you don't want okay. it. I can split can it if you it. want. <laughs> uh, I'm good. If it was like a dragon horde, then yes. But... Um. Actually, no. You, actually, money, you, you keep the rapier. You can sell it because my great axe does more damage. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> What am I doing? Also, All I, right, so I like gold. A... I like gold. Um, one Ted Logan, Logan for my Arcana. His clothes are giving off some kind of magical aura, but you'd have to sit down with them to discern more. Logan, can I sit down natural, with them? Natural twenty. Yes. For what? Oh, for the Arcana check. Yeah. They are indeed magical, but you would still need to sit down with them to obtain their true nature. Okay, fine. Um, I clap my hands and say, uh, I, ask, I see if there's any servants around or not. Okay. Uh, as you clap your hands, um, kind of phasing out of the walls are these ghostly elven figures. They kind of float over to you. They don't have any legs. They're just, they just kind of taper off into smoke. This is Maximilian's mansion's freaking ghost, isn't it? They kind of approach you and say, what is your bidding? Bring me all the corpses that are scattered around here. They bow, and they disappear. And in the any walls. and any uh, special, unique items that might be inside the castle. They bow. Um, after maybe five minutes, they kind of return, each one holding a skeletal corpse. Which at this point, the skeletons have they are instead of being with a little bit of flesh on them, they're completely uh, bone white. They kind of bring the corpses to you, and they just set them in front of you. All right. Um, was there anything else besides the corpses? Um, uh, <laughs> they do come back with a small bag. I open the bag. It looks like it was a mimic. Haha. What? <laughs> <laughs> I open the bag. The mimic starts sucking my face. <laughs> in. Oh my god! <laughs> His run froze. Uh, run froze. The last fuck you. All right. So what was it? What was it? <laughs> It looks like an empty bag. You look inside and it's just blackness. Alright, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a hold of that bag just in case for a second. Um I'm gonna sit down for a second and I'm gonna start setting up a ritual for a ceremony. Okay. And pass all these people to the next um world, basically. Okay. Right, so I mean, we're talking with Drax, so I guess is he still planning on giving us his items after he get, after he gains his? Trip? Yeah, he, yes, he plans yeah. on giving you his items. Okay. I um, um, while I'm cast, while I'm doing the casting, the ritual, I hand over the scythe over to uh, Ran. Okay. Ran. Um, I mean, I'll, pr- I'll pretty much just gonna lay the items out in front of us and tell everybody to take what they want. I'd prefer the mask of thought if y'all don't mind. That's fine. And y'all can have literally your fight over the other three. We're good. Um, what do you, which one do you want? I don't. I'm not really particular about the scythe. What's the? Yeah, I'll take the scythe. Okay, the scythe does two d6 slashing damage. It has three charges. Whenever you expend a charge, whatever damage you do, you get back as health. All right, let me um. Um. All right, so the, what's the I'll scythe called? The Bible. Uh, the bloodletting scythe. All right, look. What's the book called? The book is called the Tome of uh, the Tome of. Let me just bring it up and I'll tell you. Tome of Lost Knowledge. Yeah, the Tome of Lost Knowledge. What's the damage on the scythe again? Sorry. Two d six. Two d six. Is it Dex or Strength? Um, it's a finesse weapon. That's a finesse okay. weapon, yeah. Um. Yeah. See, that wouldn't even be good for me. I'm all freaking buff and. Letting scythe two d six, and then I need a tune on it. Oh, uh, yes, it requires a tune. We have time now. Alright. And then... Um, 2d6. Right. And then, uh... How much health do you get back on a hit? Whatever damage you do. What the, you get three charges. What's the, uh... What's the other thing? 
the uh, the broken hourglass. You see it, six seconds to the future. Yeah, it gives you advantage know. on your next turn. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if anybody wants that. Tell me what uh, songs is something what? you don't need to attune to, anyways. I just want I just want the mask, so I'm good. Y'all can have the rest. Okay. Alright. Uh, Mario, do you want the uh, do you want the hourglass or no? Um. Is it something we can use in combat? Like, what would it do exactly, Logan? You get advantage. It, it gives you advantage on your next attack. Huh. Do you have to do anything with it? It's just a it's just a free action. That's once a day, right? Yeah, once a day. So once a day you just can use it, it doesn't use a bonus action or an action? Nope, it's a free action. Do you have to attend to it? it I mean if you guys action. don't want it, I'll take it. Yeah, you can have it dude. That's, that's that's not too bad. Since you don't really it. waste an action, if you feel pretty confident in that next roll, I'd definitely go for it. Because uh, you definitely right. know it's gonna land. Alright, so you get that. You get I'm gonna keep the tumble lost knowledge on me. We sure. still have the clothing uh, that I'm checking out from him. You can hold on to that. Well, we still uh, don't know what it does yet. Uh, okay, Logan, so, ceremony. Um, yes. okay, so I passed them on. Um, yeah. if, uh, if anything, I'm gonna go ahead and sacred flame their bot, their corpses into, you know, ash. dust to dust. Yeah, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, kind of thing. I mean, we're gonna... And, wait. um, Logan, I put, I put my hand into the... Wait, yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna put my hand to the bag and see if it goes anywhere. Your arm just stretches into it, and the bag goes all the way up to your shoulder. Okay. Um, I up. find an area that's like, like, has like space, and I turn the bag inside out. Okay, you turn the bag inside out, and uh, about a thousand gold worth of coins, gold coins, just kind of floods into the space. I take you. You hear? I take five hundred for myself. I'll take five hundred. That'll end up. Splitting the gold up e equally. Mm -hmm. you, you guys look back at me. My mouth was just sitting there, drawing the drawing the floor, just watering. That's what came out of the bag was the gold. Yes. Yeah. Seven seventy. Do I find anything about this? Uh, are you taking the, his armor, are clothing, you taking whatever? To, a, to, 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 to it or whatever? Yeah. Well, I'm attuning to my scythe, but also I want right. to check out the clothing and see okay. what the fuck it does. All right. So who doesn't have a bag of holding? I have one, I think. You have a bag of holding? What about you, Javon? Javon? Did we lose him? Well, it still he says he's here. Javon. Javon. Hey, you there? For now, we'll just, we'll move on without him for now. Alright, so... Wait. Hello? Oh, here he is. There you go. Okay, Sorry, I, I, had to go grab, I had to go grab the... I do not have a bag of holding. Alright, I toss it to you. Now you have another... I, now we all... I, so all three of us have a bag of holding. I appreciate that. I put all my money into the bag of holding, because I'm rich. I'm rich as fuck. Okay. And, um... I mean, if we don't know what that, what that if we don't know what that clothing does, if, I mean, if it does have anything special, well, I mean, we, we still have to go pick up our stuff from that one guy, so you can just hold on to it till then. Uh, Money. Uh, Let's find out. Can I? Can I hold on to it? I want to see what it. Wait, actually, did you find out what it does? No, not yet. Um, um while they're doing that, Logan, I'm gonna go ahead and um, walk over to my demon who's just kind of sitting there. And I'm gonna uh, say you've done well. I said soon I will call upon you again. I'm gonna make you mine. And then I place my hand on his forehead, and she disappears. I don't give her a chance to say shit. Mm -hmm. But now I know her name, so I can call back her. I'm gonna make that bitch make me a fucking uh, a necklace. She's gonna be mine forever. Okay. Uh, as you're all doing this, Draxel kind of sits down in the throne and just kind of crosses his legs and just. Almost looks like he falls asleep. This is gaining his power back. I'm gonna assume that we can't get back until I mean, ten, I don't. Maybe could banish us. Do we have anything else that we need from Draxel, guys? Or um. <laughs> we 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 need to wait for him to wake back up and then send us home. Or I guess Manny could technically try and banish us. <laughs> yeah, but I would have to I take a long rest just to get back to. Do we want to draft up some sort of contract? 
Yeah, we can do that. I'm really good at shit. I'm good Without at, I, just I'm good a, riding. Kind of say, like, yeah. we're the kings, but he's ruling in our stead. Kind that, of thing. or we can start sending out all these ghost motherfuckers and telling telling everybody that, that we killed um, Renfro, but Draxel is in charge. That way, it's not, it's, it can't be one of those things like he's telling everybody that he's the one that killed you know, Renfro type shit. Because, I mean, I trust Draxel, but I don't trust Draxel. Yeah. So, we could do can that. Can we do that? Can we do that, Logan? Can we send out these uh, these ghost demons to start telling everybody that, we can uh, do that Renfro has been killed by our party and uh, in our leave, Draxel is in charge? All we, right, and we will be. All back. right, you guys take the bait squad. I'm gonna take these uh, five other guys that are the spares, yeah, and yeah. Uh, do some conver- uh, conversation with them. <laughs> all right, y'all. Go tell, go tell uh, the Fey, the, the Fey Wild our story. Let them well, know we, we will be back. While they're talking about that, I go ahead and um, take them to the side and say, "All right, now I want you guys to start spreading the great word and name of Terra." Jesus across the across the Feywilds, tell everybody how great Terror is. Manny and his cult people. <laughs> okay, and head out. So the ghosts kind of bow and then they disappear into the wall. All right, there we go. That should that should be fine. We'll we'll still run to tell Draxel, but at actually, least this time he can't try and pull some bullshit. Actually, I'd like to ask one of the ghosts: Are you able to actually leave this area, or not? Um, did I just give them an order that they can't really fulfill? But they're like, all right, sure, yeah, I gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> they just go sit in the walls. I have to ask these things because, you know. Well, I appreciate it. Logan Logan could try it. He, I, Logan didn't want us to be all powerful. I mean, we're, we're pretty much Fae Lords now, so I can understand him wanting to, wanting to stop that. Um, they basically say they can leave the. They can go off and tell people what they need to be told. All right. Buff, buff. Awesome. Okay. After you do this, Draxel kind of wakes up and you see him stretch and he goes, well, if you'd like, I can send you all home now. Uh, sure. Yeah, but first I want to know what these clothing is. Okay. So you take a short rest? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, the clothing is magical. <laughs> Basically, at will, you can make the clothing appear as whatever you want. Oh, ever, changing, ever changing clothing. It's, yeah. the, um, it's the special clothing. Oh my god. That'd be it doesn't nice. give AC or anything, right? It does not give you AC, but it nope. looks like whatever you want. You, you can look fly for all it, your bitches. Basically, basically it's uh, Barbie's uh, dream clothes. <laughs> Barbie's. Does anyone want hat. these? I mean, I'm... I'm kind of wearing, robe. I'm wearing a robe right now that's in, it's magical, so... If yeah. nobody wants it, I will take it. Because I kind of look like I'm homeless. <laughs> You can give it to your brother. Oh, I was gonna say, can yeah, could his brother wear it? His brother. Oh my god, it. It, it long won't look all creepy and shit all the fucking time. Yeah, but no, no, because you, ch- you can make it anything, anything you want. Does it change the appearance of the clothing or like uh, the person? Like what he looks like? Like it changes the clothing. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, long, long will still have his mask on, but I'll have his clothes not like shit. He won't even have to wear a mask because it could be a mask that just there forms we go. from the clothing. Logan. Yes. If you guys, yeah, if you guys are okay with that, I'll give, I'll, I'll give it a long. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Long looks fly. Oh yeah, and on the plus side, that means long. That means that his clothes will never burn. Yeah, he will never be revealed. This is magical. Is there a specific name for the clothing, Logan? Or I was gonna put ever changing clothing. Just ever changing clothing works. Oh. Okay, so Draxel says after your short rest, he goes, "I can send you home now, but you should know, time works." a bit differently in the Feywild, so for you it may have only been a couple days, but back in the material plane it could have been a number of months. You son of a bitch! Interesting. I had a good general idea. I, I live close to the Fey. I, po- I point at Draxel. I say, you're in charge while we're gone, but remember, we will be back. If, they, goes, that, bring if that Enchanter doesn't have my, my fucking armor because we were gone for months, I'm going to fuck you up, Draxel. <laughs> he kind of smiles guy. and he, he bows and says, I await your return. And he kind of snaps his fingers and a doorway, a door appears in front of you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and release my summoning of the Terror Bird. I still have it, but I don't need that bitch walking around with me. Okay. All right now. Um, and then All I'll right. go and I'll... Now we have to make a uh, wisdom save, right? Since we're leaving the Fey? Yes, make a wisdom saving throw. I got a natural so, twenty. Oh, we're making a wisdom saving throw. What are you doing to us? You'll see. 
Look, this is what I'm doing. This is, a, this is, the, co this is the coolest shit about the freaking Feywild, okay? And this is like stuff that I was reading in the DM's guide and Volo's uh, guide and everything. Basically, Man, what on. is he doing? When you leave the Feywild, you have to beat a DC 10 saving throw or you forget about everything you did in the Feywild. Okay. I'll be pissed. Bro, yeah. One, I'd be pissed. And then two. I got a, nat <laughs> I got a natural 20. Uh, just so you know, if you have Fey ancestry, you can actually counterbalance that. If you're actually a druid, you're not affected by it as well. Oh, I'm fine, though. I'm human. I, I wrote a 13. You're fine. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> you go to leave the Feywild, and now you're retarded forever. Thanks. <laughs> You don't remember ever getting a bag of holding. You just have this bag of holding. You're wondering where the fuck is this bag of holding, and then you're like, where the fuck is my buddy? What do we roll? Uh, wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. Um, I don't like I'm, this. I'm, for, for shits and giggles, I'm gonna roll it for long too. Okay. Oh god, he has minus two. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> 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 long, long rolled a four, so he, he rolled it, so he was two and all. Long doesn't remember shit. He just he, Lug's he, he, like, he, where the fuck did I get these clothes? He's, um, he's, 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 an he's really 11. excited. You're fine, Mike. You had to beat a 10. <laughs> Thank God. He, Thank he's really God. excited about these clothing that just happened to be on them. What about the terror bird? The terror bird? I, I, I got rid of the terror bird. I can call her back, but she's, she's safe, too. Okay, so as you guys exit the Feywild, you walk through the door back into that basement staircase where you started it. Um, you're Yo, the what if we all forgot? What if we left this and we all just forgot that we were fucking Fae uh, Fae Lords? I'd be mad right. as shit. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, if only, if only. Real quick, Logan, yeah. does, the, does the mask of thought like does it have like a particular look look to it? Um, it can look, it can change. I'll say it can change its appearance as well because it's a Fae relic. Okay, then all right. I know. I I, I keep I, I wear it on top of my head like a mask that you just kind of pulled up. Phone? Just oh, for heads yeah. up, it, it looks like a white skull skull mask. So I'll take that. All right. So we're back in the basement. You're back in the basement. <laughs> how how long do you, do you guys think we've, we've been gone? I don't um, know. I start that. looking around for the. Don't we in our? If, don't we have a house or something? Or? Yeah, this, this, you're at the bottom this is the of the house. stairs. You the have mansion. to go to the top. To if you all out. if you all see a whole bunch of different statues towards terror, I start you'll looking around why. for our like butler people or whoever's trying okay. to keep Bethany. our place, and I make sure like yeah. everything's kind of how we left it. Like on a yell out, Bethany. <laughs> okay. As you come to the top of the stairs and you open the door, the house is unlit. It looks like no one's been there for a while, but you do, oh, you do shout out for Bethany, your servant. I, I ask her how long we've been gone. What's She's not she... there. Wait, it's what? Empty, right? uh, At, the house appears empty, but you do shout out. You do hear some noise coming from upstairs, and after okay. a few minutes, you hear some hurried footsteps, and you see coming from the main staircase... You do see your servant, Bethany, and she kind of looks at you wide-eyed and says, Where did you come from? You've been gone for six months. Six oh, God, fucking months? Uh, yeah. We went on Beth vacation. Don't worry about it. No, We're fuck good. that. Bethany, how dare you let yourself get fucking charmed? Okay? How dare you, Bethany? You know what? You're in trouble. You will come to my room tonight. All right? Look, you're getting a spanking. <laughs> you're getting a spanking, Bethany. <laughs> um, you do see, she looks kind of fearful, and she's like, no, you don't understand. A lot has happened since you've been gone. Yes, and a lot's going to happen in the, in the room. Let me guess, the Empire's here? The Empire killed things? Empire, she, Empire? She goes, yes, the Empire, since the Giants declared war, the Empire made an incursion into the capital city of Fren, and it fell maybe two months ago. The, oh. the Is that the place we came from? Fren is where you are now. What? So it fell? Yeah. We're in ruin? Yeah. The Giants yep. lost. The, the war was yep. over. The Giants couldn't stand up against that new weapon they had. I'm immediately going to that shop that we <laughs> were promised <laughs> our goods. Bruh. Okay, so quickly enough. Um, did they use some kind of item that mind controlled the Giants, or did they think that failed? That's what I want to know. She, she basically looks at you and says, I don't know what happened exactly, but the Giants, they... And then why are you still here also? She goes, they haven't, to, to, to help things along, she basically explains that two months ago, the Empire made an incursion uh, into Fren. Uh -huh. The fighting was fierce, but after maybe a week, the Giants kind of went into a zombie-like state, similar to what happened God in Namu, it. and basically the Empire came in and just slaughtered them. That's unfortunate. 
Uh, <sighs> see, look, the Empire just kills everybody. You guys want to go back to the Fey? <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh, we are lords there, there, bro. I, hey, Bethany. Gonna, Bethany, see, how would you like a job <laughs> and not have to worry about, like, I go to open the door. <laughs> Is the face still there, look? The door opens to a basement. Stop a bitch! <laughs> Is right, it outside well, like ruins? Like, is everything ruins happens. in this city? As, or, as you go outside, they just conquered. As you go outside, make a perception check. Well, actually, you don't need a perception check for this. It's it's pretty obvious. Um, I got a seventeen passive anyway. Okay, uh, the city around you it looks red, red, you know, rather intact, but you do see there are some buildings that have collapsed, and up in the air are just maybe dozens of airships just floating, kind of in the general airspace. But there's definitely an empire presence. I can tell. Yes. The airships look like Empire and airships. close the door. Okay. Um, she says um, the military governor in charge of the city is a man named Julius Cadence. He's a um, son of a bitch. Motherfucker. You know what's funny is the fact that you warned him about Julius and... I want to step on his throat. And they and they still go to war. For... Anthony, you're coming to the Feywild with us. We're not dealing with this bullshit. <laughs> All right? <laughs> okay. And that You're still in we'll, trouble. We will end today's session. Logan, I swear to God, if I don't get my armor we'll back. A, we'll take a long rest. We'll take a long rest at the end yeah, of the session, yeah. then. 